a PlayStation or not. Do broadcast options, reverse us? No, I did not do that. Okay. Yep, your shirt. Read your shirt. Put that up. Get the music off. What's up, everybody? Or the one person who rejoined? <laughs> you guys? There we go. I need to check to see if we're actually streaming through the player. I'd have to exit out of there. Um, I will. Here, I'll, no, I'll just. I can just. You can load it up on your phone. Yeah. Let's go live. Let's see. So who's in here? Say hello. PlayStation. Taking forever to say this is weird. Just open up another YouTube window. Hey Jerry, what's going on? Thanks, Jerry. Yeah, thanks for telling me that, Jerry. I was like wondering, like if nobody was joining in. It was really weird. I wonder why that, how that even happened to begin with. That's happened before too. Really? Yeah, I don't know. Can we throw away this uh, basket? Yeah, let's pitch it. Right. Jerry, what are you playing? What you been playing lately? Pick up anything new? Jerry, Jerry. I think that's how you say it. Oh, I always said Ziri. Ziri, yeah, Ziri, Ziri. I still gotta play Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite a little more. I played it for like two seconds. I'm kind of bummed it doesn't have Wolverine. That was like one of my favorite characters. How does it not have Wolverine? You haven't heard about that? No. Oh my god, Disney's being fucked hearts. Um. Disney, uh, uh, we'll talk about Marvel vs. Capcom, me and Derek. Uh, no, Disney, um, since they own Marvel right now, is, uh, they're still pissed off that Fox, is it Fox owns the rights? Yeah, Fox to owns the, the, the X-Men. Right. right. And, and Fantastic Four. Right. So, they're, they don't want to help them at all, so they made Capcom not put any of those characters in them. In the so game. none of the X-Men are on Capcom versus oh, or Marvel. Or Fantastic Four, yeah. Yep. And 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 I've heard is even... Capcom a like affiliate of Disney? Or... No, but they they got them. They got to agree to the the right. terms of right. getting the Marvel characters. Right. I hope they make another uh, Capcom versus Tatsunoku. The the one on the Wii was awesome. Sherry. Okay, Sherry. Sherry. Okay. Now we know Sherry. Thank you. Um, yeah, so Disney, I mean, I kind of understand. Sure. I, I'd probably do it too if you, you know. From the business aspect, well, sure. Well, did I you guess. see what they did in the comics? I heard they killed off the Fantastic Four in the comics. Did they? Yeah. Uh, Marvel, Marvel just doesn't really give a shit about the comics anymore. I know, but, well, it's Disney. Right. Disney owns them now, so they. Like, they're pissed that they don't own the movie rights to him, so they killed him off in the comics. 
It's crazy. But yeah, it, it, but but Marvel vs. Capcom, like, Wolverine's been, like, the main character of right. all those games. <clears throat> He's on the cover of Marvel vs. Capcom 3, for crying out loud. There's just no I guess they always could just do uh, Capcom vs. X-Men. Like, like, some of my favorite characters, like, through those games. Well, they, they used to have X-Men vs. Street Fighter. It was right. all X-Men. Um, that was, like, like I used to like Gambit and Wolverine. Gambit and Wolverine were my team. So... Just sucks. Yeah, so that's why none of them, if anybody I asks. See. Yeah, there's a lot of people salty about that. Then the other thing we were talking about the other day, a lot of people are salty about. Um, did you hear Fortnite? They accidentally um, turned on like uh, cross platform play and people figured it out that, oh, no, I didn't that hear, people I didn't. on Xbox and people on PS4 were playing together. Did you? you didn't no, I didn't see that. that. No, yeah. that's so, funny. like, people, people were. Uh, People were like, oh, this is great, and then Sony shut that shit down right away. Right. And everybody, now everybody's mad at Sony, but I can't blame them. I'd do the same thing if I was them. Right. Red Dead is one of my favorite games of all time. I can't wait for um, for part two. I cannot wait. Red Dead's probably in my top five. It's up there. What's up, Millsy? But yeah, I, I'll explain, like, a lot of people, like, don't understand why Sony won't allow cross-platform play, and it, if you were Sony, you would do the same thing. Sony has over, uh, probably approaching 70 million PS4 sold, Microsoft's around 30. Um, it takes a lot longer to get in a game a lot of times on Microsoft because there's just not as many players, whereas Sony, you jump in and out of games, no problem. Um cross-platform play would only help Microsoft. It wouldn't help Sony. So Sony doesn't want to help them at all. Yeah, yeah, Sherry. That's pretty much what it was. You're kind of a CC game CEO, right? I'm trying to ask what your channel was. Oh, oh, oh. Um, you know what, Jerry, I, I think over the average person, um, PC gamers, I, I mean, do have a little bit of an advantage, but, but I'll be honest, I'm not afraid to play PC players, um, if I was on a console. I think it's so much easier to write code for PC, well, the, where you can hack easy. Uh, uh, yeah, I think PC, PC in general, part of the reason I don't play PC as much as I used to, I used to be a huge PC, I probably was PC Master Race back, back in the day. I used to play so much, so many games on PC, um, but um, you can only play them for like a few months before there's aim bats and wall hacks everywhere on shooters. Yeah, and like consoles, it does happen on consoles, but not. I mean, the percentage is pretty low. Whereas on PC, I, I think it gets up to like half the people are cheating almost on PC.
and it only takes it only takes a few people it, 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 maybe not half but it only takes like a small percentage of people to ruin ruin a game I mean there's already a bunch of cheats on battlegrounds and stuff so there's aimbots and wall hacks and we'll see we'll see what happens didn't Grand Theft Auto copy Battlegrounds too? Don't they have a mode like that now? I'm, I'm kind of, I might have to go, go back and try that. You know, I hate, I hate. Um, it's funny, like PC people always complain that, that console play, players have like a, a auto aim. I actually hate the auto aim. I think it messes you up more than it helps you. I try to turn it off whenever I can. I'll, I'll like be aiming at one person and another person will like cut by and the auto aim will like drag your control with them and it'll mess you up. What's up, Eric? <clears throat> what are you up to today? PS7 all the way. <laughs> what up, Eric? Iroquois Pilskin. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if we'll ever get to seven. We'll see. That's 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 a long way off. Can, let's just do five first. What's up, Reptile? I hate the auto aim. I wish there was no auto aim. If people suck, they suck. I'm doing good. Beat up and eat them. Nice junt. I have no idea, junt. Junt from John's Arcade Channel. 2K18 is awesome. It's a little slow today. Oh, you know what? Though we just got um, we just got um, uh, pocket pocket tournament and. Uh, Dragon Ball on the Switch and Ninjago on the Switch and uh, actually Ninjago's for the, the three. Oh, Ninja uh, Ninjago's out for everything and uh, what's the Cars game? Uh, Project Two. Project Car Cars. Project 2. Cars Two and like our best customer came in and bought four of the po Pokemon tournaments, so uh, not doing too bad. That just came out today. I hate games when they come out on Fridays, though. I like well, that's Nintendo. I, I well, Product Cars came out too. Oh, that's true. Yeah. And Nate, like, early releases now or early tip-off type stuff. The yeah. EA stuff. Yeah, we should. Yeah, it's out there. Oh, you have it in the totally wrong spot. Oh, <laughs> what I put it under? It was like in the T's. Oh, I put it under tournament probably. Oh. P. Yeah, so it's because that we got those boxes of po po payu at the very yeah. back, and that's what uh, threw me oh, off. Oh, puyo puyo. Yeah, puyo puyo. Because that's Tetris. Right. It should probably be in the P's, too. Um, yeah, Dra Dragon Ball, was it Xenoverse 2? Yeah, it, it, or whatever it was. Uh, yeah. yeah, but I, we sold out of it. I only had a, I only got a few of them. Nobody reserved it, but then everybody came in and bought them. I hate, I hate when people do that, too. See, this is what sucks about a Friday release. Um, like Dragon Ball, for example. You know, it comes out today, and nobody really reserved them, but then I sold out. If it was a Tuesday, I could order some more today for tomorrow. But now I have to order them and I won't get them till Monday. So I'll be out all weekend of that game. Why does someone get four of the games? Because four she has four grandkids that she gets one of everything for. I 
I know, Nintendo's... You, you know what's funny about Sunday releases? Those are so dumb. Because you have to have the product in by Friday. And then you gotta sit on it till Sunday. Junt, I do. Junt, I have a Vectrex. Right here. Has Mindstorm built in. And, um... I have Scramble. Scramble with the uh, with the instructions and the overlay. Um, you know, Reptile. I, I'm look up look up Dragon Ball in there for Switch. For, what about he, I got it right here? <clears throat> he asked if it came with Xenoverse One. I'll, I'll check Reptile. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't have the box. I can't go look at the box because we sold out. Doesn't say. It does not say. Hey, John, you want to see the Vectrex? Yeah, it doesn't look like it. You want me to power up the Vectrex? Yeah, it, look, it doesn't look like it has the part one. It's just. All right, well, I'm actually clocking out. All right. I have to go get drugs. I'll play some Vectrex for you. Should I do Scramble or Mindstorm? How about I do, I do a little bit of Mindstorm first and then I'll do some Scramble. That's yours, yeah. Okay. Here we go. I'm actually watching the TV playing this, so this is going to be ugly. Grandparents were from Italy. Right. Should we do? I'll do scramble for you. FIFA 18 comes out real soon, Mario. 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 Didn't read the cartridge. I have to clean this cartridge. Just give me a second. Did you have any questions or anything? Or just checking everything out? Yeah, he's just checking it out. 
Let's go. We're so sad that the one in Bowling Green closed. So he's like, we got to we were up here for the festival. And he's like, we got to find Oh, <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that. That landlord was, oh, my God. The place was kind of falling apart. And the landlord was it. a jerk. And uh, I wish we could have found another spot we liked. But. Because I know they love going there. Well, that's good to hear. Sorry. <laughs> He loved the Halo statue that was there. <laughs> yeah, actually, we got both of them at the other store, and, uh, at our Fremont store. Yeah, that that one's we still have it. There you go, John. Well, thanks for stopping in. Sorry. Oh, we'll be back before the weekend. Sorry we closed that one up, but it's just... That's uh, okay. We know where to find you now. <laughs> yep. And if you're ever in Fremont, that one's actually like twice the size of the store, so... Oh, wow. It's okay. got... Yep. Thanks. Yep, thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's why I don't fire it up too, too often, John. I mean, I'm sure I could fix it if I had to, but, um, did you see, do you ever watch, uh, there's a guy called RK Jason, he's actually from Ohio, um, he, uh, he made a, a life-size, just recently made a life-size Vectrex arcade machine, he, he found out how to, how to, um, how to, um, output the monitor to a bigger monitor, and he's making a whole arcade cabinet for a Vectrex. Yeah, I think Ian does have a have a um, cap kit for Vectrex. Hopefully, I don't need it. Hopefully, I sell that before. Um, yeah, look up Arcade Jason. It, it might be Jason's Arcade. I don't know, but Ar I think he goes by Arcade Jason. But he's from Ohio here, and um, he does he does. I mean, his videos aren't as high quality as John's, but he does arcade restorations and and stuff like that. He he has a lot of cool tips. Um, but he's right now he's doing a Vectrex arcade machine. Which is kind of cool. I think he's going to throw a multi card in it. But it looks really cool. Let me, you know what? I'll find the link and I'll, I'll post the link. Just give me a second. Okay, Jason here. Hold on. Copy. Um, what's up, Pack of Smokes? There you go, John. There's a link for you to his channel. He overclocks a Vectrex. One of his one of his videos. <coughs> He does all kinds of cool stuff. What's up, fart socks? Alex, I didn't see Alex fart socks. I'm always afraid I'm going to drop this thing, like especially on stream, and it'll become a fail video. Of me like ruining a Vectrex. I almost sold the Vectrex the other day. Some guy was seriously thinking about it, but he changed his mind. I think he was afraid of his wife. My name's Kevin. Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. 
Yeah, I'm not Alex. Sorry. But what's up? And you just missed Derek. Derek just left. You were close. Yeah, you were close. It started in the same alphabet. You were just a few letters off. What are you guys playing today? What's everybody playing? Um, the Vectrex, um, I'm asking about 350. I'd probably take about 300 on it. It's it's uh, um, um, it's in like awesome shape. Um, and I sell the complete in box SNES games. I've sold a couple, but I still have most of them. I mean, complete in box games don't sell real fast. It takes a while. Um, I'll sell them eventually. I did just sell my rarest game I had in the store, though. I just sold, uh, oh, yesterday, actually. I just sold the Mega Man 8 for Sega Saturn that I had. And it sold for 350 bucks. Yeah, Butterfinger games. Yeah, I'm just I'm always afraid because it's so it's so rare and old. Um, it, I just like that it looks cool in the shop. I'm, I'm, I'm not in a hurry to sell it. That's why I got it priced. I mean, I bet I got it priced at the top of what they go for, but I'm a retail store, so that's what that's what we do. Oh, wrong. Man. Almost got it. Uh, um, but I, sometimes I price stuff a little bit high and. If it sells, great, but if not, it looks cool in the store. Something you don't see every day. It's a good conversation starter. <laughs> I tried to catch the, the cool... It's weird because the stream's reversed, so like... Everything's opposite when I, that I'm looking at. I should look over there not on the little mini camera. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Back to work. Yeah, get back to work, John. You lazy bastard. Yeah, ch John, check out that guy's channel, though. It's pretty cool. Especially if you're into Vectrex. He's a pretty cool dude. Two crates of flashlight, sweet. Should I gut the um, Should I gut the magic carp so you can just put them in here? You can just have you can have a magic carp one. Too many people pack a smokes. Too many people. And you know what's funny is the people that try to haggle the most are like the collectors, and and they 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 get they get pissed off a lot um, um, because like it's funny. Like, uh, like I'll give you like a prime example. Somebody somebody came in the other day, and they're like, "Oh wow, I can't. Even, I don't even remember what game it was, but I only had one. It's really rare." And, and they're like, oh, wow, I never see that game anywhere. Oh, you got a pretty good price on it. And then they try to haggle for you. They tell you they have a pretty pretty good price. And and then they want to haggle with you after they just told you you have a good price. And and the guy got mad that I wouldn't drop it down anymore. I'm like, no, it's the only one I have. No, I'm like, if you don't buy it, someone else will eventually. Yeah, Junstick, Mega Man 8 on Sega Saturn is really rare. Um, and it was like complete in box for... Okay. It's like, it's getting like, uh, um... Jeez. Getting like, uh, um... Stop. That's like, uh, um... What's that game you play on Connect where you... Nin Ninja, uh, Fruit Ninja.
like a play of Fruit Ninja. <laughs> I just have magic carp eat them. Any good feedback of VRs for PS4? I like the Millsy. I like the VR for um, PS4. That's pretty good. Um, it's expensive, but it's all VR is pretty expensive. Some games are really good. Some games are just okay. Um, just depends on the game. Me personally, I like I like like the ones that are on rail shooters. Um, thanks, Black Black Demon. I I God, I, I would love for Sega to make a House of the Dead game for the VR. That would be badass. Um. Well. It, it, John, it was uh, um, it's it's actually on the newest uh, the Mega Man Legends two, the one that's on like Xbox and PS4. Except the Saturn one isn't. The Saturn one had a bunch of like anime cutscenes. Um, the PS the PS2 one, it's Mega Man eight. It's it's old school, you know, side hand drawn side scroller. Um, but the Sega Saturn version was the best version of it, and it had a bunch of had a bunch of anime videos, and they didn't even put that on the Legends. So. Actually, I think I think since they made that Mega Man Legends and they still didn't put that out there, I think that's 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 why like it's becoming even more popular. Yeah, VR like VR Blood Rush, uh, Rush of Dawn. That's a good one. I like I like those on rail on rail shooters are awesome in VR. So I say, needs to make a House of the Dead for VR. That would be badass. Mr. Bones was great. Pavlov VR. I, I haven't tried that one, John. Here's a pretty rare game, too. Um, this is really rare um, to be in box on, on Super Nintendo. Lufia 2. This is worth a couple hundred bucks. Virtual Cop would be a badass too. You talking about Lufia, Jack? This is just a rare, rare, rare ass game. Lufia too. It's an RPG. It's made by Natsumi and Tato. I have it shrink wrapped to keep it keep it in good shape, so it's kind of way too shiny. But ultimate, it's the ultimate role playing game. The ultimate role playing game. Super Nintendo, SNES, whatever you prefer. SNES. I don't really ever call it SNES. I, I kind of think that name's stupid. I usually call it a SNES or um, Super Nintendo. You just got the full game of FIFA 18 on EA Access, yeah. EA Access is good for that. That's cool. We'll get the actual games um, soon. You have Lufia 1 cart only and 2 complete in box. Nice. Lufia 2 is... I I, I, don't, I haven't even looked what Lufia 1 is worth at the moment, but Lufia 2 is pretty... Uh... <laughs> SNES people are easy are evil. Yeah, I don't like calling it SNES. I don't know why. I just think it's silly. Breath of Fire. I'm. I mean, I, I'm not a big personally. I don't like a lot of RPGs. I like action RPGs. Um, the the only RPG like traditional RPG I really ever got into is probably Lunar. I liked Lunar a lot.
how much for an Xbox One S two terabyte? Um, which which edition? It's probably not. It's probably not a ton, but I'll look it up. Chrono Cross is good too. Is it the Gears of War two terabyte or is it white? Uh, not not very. I mean, occasionally we do that. I mean, it just depends when it gets out of uh, out of uh, out of whack. But we we do pretty good at keep them in a, keeping them in order. It just depends. It, you, a lot of times you get a little kid that'll come in here. And parents aren't paying attention and they're like moving shit everywhere. Wild Arms was cool too. Let's see. A two terabyte, a white two terabyte system only trades in for about 150. Yeah, it only trades in for about 150 at the moment. Yep, we got the, like the rare box stuff I have up there. Um, yep. Breath of Fire was awesome. Um, Mario Twins. Um, was that on John's stream the other night when he was streaming all those bootleg games? Because I haven't heard of Mario Twins. Is that the one? I didn't really watch his stream. I, I actually I had one of those cool babies, John, and I sent it. I sent it to Dan. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that's a hack of NES games. I don't I don't really sell bootleg crap, so. They're, they're, they're on that on that cool baby there's like Mario 1 2 3 7 8 9 10 14 15 it's crazy Mario twins and not Mario brothers um Max Payne was awesome they still make Max Payne yeah master system up there I liked the master system it was funny as I was always kind of a Sega fanboy growing up and I had an NES though, and my my friend across the street had a Master System, and we would always like, we'd always trade out like when I wanted to play Master System games, I would borrow the Master System for from him, and I would let him borrow my NES. So I think he I think he always liked the NES better, and I always liked the Master System. I was weird, I was that weird kid in America that liked Master System better. And I know in the rest of the world the Master System was doing great, but in America it didn't do so hot. I don't have a game for I don't have a fair child. Nope. I don't have any I don't have any of that stuff. Maybe I'll just leave it on Mario. Should I put a different game on the NES? You guys got any requests? Yeah, the Master System converter for the Game Gear. That was cool. The Game Gear even had uh, like a TV converter. That was pretty cool. So I think the Turbo Graphics had a TV converter too. Those were pretty sweet. Back in the day, I always wanted one of those. I wanted I wanted a portable Turbo Graphics 16, but I I had the actual, but I wanted the handheld, but it was always so damn expensive. I think I have Metal Gear. Let me let me go let me go make sure. I think I have Metal Gear.
I'm I am I'm actually out of Metal Gear, but I have Snake's Revenge. I'll put Snake's Revenge. Oh, it didn't read the cartridge properly. Hold on. There we go. Snake's Revenge. <laughs> yeah, it's Rory McElroy now, John. Hello. Lies. Let me check. Um, let me look. Alright. Yeah, they stopped doing Tiger Woods when he got into all that shit back in the day. They dropped him. Dude, Tiger Woods was like nailing everybody. Dude, get everybody's golf though. If you want a golf game, that everybody's golf is really good. I don't know why somebody wanted this, but I have to send this to my other store. It's an okay game. Golden tea is cool. I like the um I like I like the PSVR a lot better off dead. Yeah, Poon Legend. Nice, Eric. I I actually have a Golden Tee arcade machine at home, but um it was originally a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and I'm converting it back to a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So I'll probably I'll probably end up putting that golden tea in a different arcade machine. John, I worked at GameStop for a long time. That's actually kind of a common practice because they they have they're such little stores and they have such little room. They store a lot of stuff in the bathroom, but we didn't piss all over the stuff we had. The Golden Tee plug and play. Those are those are all right. John, you can. Yeah, you were selling piss boxes. It doesn't surprise. Me. That that doesn't surprise me at all. I I worked at a bunch of. I worked at GameStop for a long time, and I worked at a bunch of different stores. 
Because I used to go all. I was the guy that went to the, all the stores and fixed them up when the managers were were a holes and let them run into the ground. So the only thing about those, Scott, is those are those don't come up too often. Um, and and people either give them away because they're so damn big, or they want like four times what they're worth. I don't have a problem with digital, Justin, but you don't own any of that stuff, so I try not to do digital. Um, that you're basically just running those games that you buy digitally. I gotta cut. Did you need help at all? He's enough, yeah. Okay. Totals thirty one fifty seven. Two are back or no? Ah, sorry. I just put his receipt here. Eight forty three. Let me get the receipt here. Yeah, yeah, that's the you never lose them if you do that. Yep, yep. yep. There you go. There you go. Thanks a lot. Have fun. Yep. There you go, Did you need help at all? Uh, yeah. Do you guys have uh, the new Pokemon DX card? Yeah, for the Switch? Yeah. 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 That's been the hot game today. <coughs> Sixty-four nineteen. You too. Thank you. Oh, I'm going back and checking the checking the the comments right now. How do you put more shit on screen? What do you mean, John? Oh, delusional. What's up, delusional? 
Hey, Delusional has a cool channel too. If you're interested in arcade machines, check out Delusional's arcade. He does some some cool cool stuff with arcades. Um, that dude comes in all the time though. He had a member card. He got uh, he bought po pocket tournament. It's like the eighth pocket tournament I've sold today. It's crazy. I'm I, I'm down to one pocket tournament. I'm gonna be out. I'm gonna run out for that arcade. That's that's why I hate. I hate Friday releases. Ah, because like, nobody reserved it, but it's selling phenomenal, and uh, um, and now I'm gonna run out, and I can't or I can't get any more till Monday. It sucks. So I, I like I like Tuesday releases so much better. Um, and then hold on, that guy wasn't scary. Um, yeah, dad buying games that that was cool back in the day when when your parents bought you games. Yeah, the guy's getting his Pokemon on. Um, let's see. You feel like you're watching the security video. Yeah, we do have security cams, but no. Delusional, I'm using um, PlayStation, a PlayStation camera. Yeah, I'm, I'm on my PS4. I, I, I will tell you, like, Delusional, you get a lot more people if you do live from PlayStation than you would if you just go straight YouTube streaming. You get a lot more people in your streams. That's why I go on PS4 because it shows up on the the live from PlayStation. Um, not a lot of thieves, but I put them on blast when when we do. Yeah, I know. Yeah, sorry, John. Yeah, you're well aware. You guys made fun of me for the for the video that I did. Yeah, you can't. You got to use like the PlayStation Now graphics, like this stuff. Yeah, I I know it's not it it's more of a basic streaming. Um, we're we're actually doing really well. To, even though this somebody asked if we do a lot of business, um, this is like still a really slow time of year. Like we do the majority of our business um, November. Actually, I mean it starts like towards the middle to the end of November, especially with Black Friday. November, December, January, and February, we literally probably make like 75% of our business during those four months. This time of year, it's kind of slow, especially when it's like, it's like 85 degrees and just beautiful outside today here. So um, this store though here is my slow store. I'm this, we do make pretty good money here, but our other store is like a home run and we just make, that's, that's our cash cow. And I, our other store would be a lot more exciting to stream. Um, but my business partner is just not into that stuff, so he wouldn't um, he wouldn't he wouldn't want to stream there. The next time I work there, though, every now and then I'll work there because uh, um, just because of scheduling issues or something, I'll stream from that store, and you guys will see it, that that store is always busy. Yeah, the Call of Duty releases those always make good money. The, the game personally that I'm most excited for is probably Shadow of Mordor or Star Wars Battlefront 2, Call of Duty. Um, uh, those will probably be what I'll be playing mainly. Yeah, retail is always quarter four. You know, this time of year too sucks. Like we're usually getting, we get a lot of people like selling us games and, and I'm constantly like buying stuff and you, you actually lose money most of the time during the year and then you make it all back in those four months. Um, but like, I, I just I look in the back room this time of year and I'm like Jesus Christ I have a lot of like you know whatever system I have so many used systems and and in the past I would when we first started I, I didn't know how it went I would stop buying them because I felt like I had too many and then Christmas time would come around and I'd sell them all and I'm like damn it I wish I didn't stop buying them so how much would I buy Madden 07 for like 50 cents it depends You're gonna put a 360 in a in a in an arcade machine. That's cool. I actually don't have a lot of 360s at the moment.
three sixty though you can get like like a four gig three sixty is about like sixty bucks. What's up, flying cow? Yeah, I saw that Call of Duty was four K. They didn't say if it was if it was native four K though. They just said four K sixty frames. So we'll see. Shadow Mordor was awesome. I can't wait for Shadow War and. You reserve Shadow War with us. You get this kick ass t shirt. I, I agree with you, John. I'd rather have, honestly, I'd rather have a game that was 1080p and si as long as you got 60 frames per second, though, even at 4K, that's fine. Um, Marvel vs. Capcom 3 theme already on it. I want to hack fighting games. Oh, JJ. Yeah, that that would be cool. That would be a good that'd be a good little little view licks if you make one uh if you make one of those delusional, that would be sweet. I'm I'm probably honestly I'm probably gonna put a pie in my next arcade machine. Uh, Flying Cow, we are in Port Clinton, Ohio, but our main store, our big store, which is literally like three times the size of this, is in Fremont, Ohio. Dude, PS2 Slims, we do not have many at the moment. Um, let me see what they're going for. I think that might be it right. I, we have like one or two a store. They're seventy. They're sixty nine ninety nine for a PS two Slim. PS 2s working ones don't come around very often anymore. I'm not sending a PS four for free. Sorry. Hey, delusional. Have you seen these cases for pies? Have you seen that case yet for a Raspberry Pi? SD card goes in on the side. Uh, an original Xbox, not much. Let me see. Original Xbox is about actually about fifty bucks, a little bit more than I thought. Yeah, they are working. Here, here's the problem with PS2s. Um, half of whatever comes in like they're never working properly like you got to make sure they um you got to make sure they read like four different types of discs there's there's the black cds from the original playstation um there's silver cds there's gold cds and there's blue cds uh dvds sorry and they have to read them all and usually you'll find that they're not reading one and it's a sign they're probably going out the original Xbox was built like a tank, and so were the games. Then the 360, those things break constantly. I, I have a stack of 360s in the back that are just broken. I could, I could probably make a throne of 360s, broken 360s. Um, you know what I've been doing with 360s? Um, Delusional and, uh, and Junt will probably get a kick out of this. I take the 360s, and I, I just take out the guts, and I make them into arcade sticks. I drill the holes in them. Um, I, I actually, from one of my friends, I took a 360 and I made it into a pie. And I put a pie in it and I built all the controls so you could just HDMI, HDMI out to his TV. So, so I basically made a giant Raspberry Pi machine out of a out of an Xbox 360. They make great arcade sticks if they're dead. You want to see the store? Yeah, sure. Um. Try to, all right, like over on this wall right here is PS3. Um, back here you got, ugh, got DS. We got our rare games locked up in these cabinets, but um, DS, 3DS, PS3. Um, got some Amiibos on that island out there. Um, PS4 all the way to the front. A couple arcade machines out there. There's a Centipede and uh, and a John Elway's team quarterback. I gotta fix the John Elway's team quarterback. It works, but the controls, I need to work on one of the controls. Um, got some NES games and Super Nintendo and Genesis right there and Atari's around the corner. We got Xbox One and Xbox 360 and then 
the switch and the Wii and the stuff, those are all front. I'm I'm just using a PlayStation 4 camera. It's just it's just live from PlayStation. It's just a PS4 camera. It's pretty cool though. You can you can do all kinds of cool little visual effects if you want to. I like this one because it makes everything look clean. See, I always tell people I just clean my store. Look how clean and sparkly it is. You know what's funny is the rarest game I had until yesterday, I just sold it. I had Mega Man 8 for Sega Saturn, like, complete in the box. Um, I don't have any kiosks at the moment, John. We very rarely get kiosks. Um, um, I had a Dreamcast kiosk I just sold. Um, but the last kiosk we got was a 360 kiosk, and I don't, we don't use it anymore. I didn't get an Xbox One or a PS4 kiosk. Yeah, you can't do links. I can do links, delusional. I can post links, but you guys can't. Um, the Sega Saturn Mega Man Eight sold for three hundred fifty dollars. But the rarest, the rarest item I ever had. Uh, you know what? I'll pull up a picture of it. We had a, um, we had a Pokemon. We somebody traded in a. Uh, like three and a half foot Pokemon uh, Pikachu statue, and uh, we sold that online for thirty five hundred dollars. That's the rarest item we ever had. At our other store, though, I have a Mario statue and I have two Master Chief statues. Um, yeah, sure. Yeah, what what do you want me to? Yeah, if you want to post, just put it in. I'm in John's arcade. For them at the moment. If you post it in there, I'll cut and paste it. Sometimes at my other store too, I'll, we we put that on and we'll go around and kids will kids love that. Actually, adults love it too. The unrare Madden, anything Madden. Anything Madden. Let me find the Pikachu statue we sold. It's been a while, so I gotta find the picture. Yeah, the PlayStation app doesn't. You know what, Doctor Rocks? Uh, somebody was telling me to use if you do an iPad, not your phone. On the phone, it's a pain in the ass. It doesn't work all the time. Um. But I guess on iPad it works every time, so I'm gonna bring an I'm gonna do an iPad from now on. The hell is that picture? This is great, great streaming right here. Me looking at my phone. You picked up a, you know what, a delusion, I have a jam, I have an NBA jam cab in my garage, and I have a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah, I'm working the late shift today. Flying cow, you're coming to the store, where are you from? Here's the Pikachu we sold. Where, where are you from? That's cool. Where are you from? Just let me know it's you. That Pikachu statue is like a three-foot statue. Oh, you got it for 150 oh. What a deal, dude. I just have the cabinet. There, It was gutted. I just have the NBA Jam cab. Um, and then the Turtles I got, I got, the Turtles one I got, it was 50 bucks, but it's a golden tee. I got to convert it back. I got it for, for
for 50. It wasn't working either. The goal, I got the golden tee working, but uh, I'm debating. I'm, I, I, I really don't want to buy a PCB for turtles. They're just too damn expensive. I'm, I'm debating. I know creating blasphemy. I'm debating putting a pie in it with a bunch of uh, four-player games. I'm, I'm debating. I'll probably make it look like turtles, but I'm, I'm, I'm probably gonna throw a pie in it. And you, I, I've watched a lot of your videos. You got some hella deals, man. You get, you get lucky. I don't. There's a guy. There is a guy that's about an hour from me, and he's like my. He's like my arch rival, and he beats me to every freaking thing. I, I don't know how he does it, but the dude is amazing. He beats he beats me to everything. He drives me nuts. I hate that guy. He's actually a good dude. I've bought some stuff off of him, but man, does he beat me to every freaking deal. I don't know how he does it. Yeah, you've gotten really good deals, though. What's up, Kevin? No, I didn't see uh, the traffic's bad, but it is Friday, um, and people start rolling in because this is such a tourist town. So um, it doesn't look bad out there now, but I mean, but people do people do start rolling in. You need to try. You know what I, I did? I got a little trailer. I bought a trailer for like three hundred bucks. Um, I've been using the trailer constantly. What's up, G Tech? No, nobody's bought the fish. Yet. You know what though? I, I don't think anybody will when it's up here. Like the rest of our um, the rest of our uh, toys are out there. Toys and like plushies. I think a lot of people don't think it's for sale because we have it right here. The honk was you? Sweet. I thought you were coming in. S special guest on the, on the stream tonight. Yeah. Coming in in a second. All right, we'll see. We'll see who this dude is. Or it might be a girl. A bar, some bars still do have tournaments. You know what? If I ever sell this place, I'll probably start a barcade. I kind of want to do that in this area. You shouldn't be texting, you shouldn't be watching my stream and driving, Flying Cow. You're a dude. Uh, we are in Port Clinton, Ohio. We're way north of Columbus or Dayton. Uh, Port Clinton, Ohio, and we have a store in Fremont, Ohio. X-Men vs. Street Fighter on PS2. I, do, I actually think I have that. Let, let me check. Wait, you said on PS2. It wasn't on PS2. X-Men vs. Street Fighter was on PS1. It works on PS2. If you really want a, a good version, you got to get a sadder version. A copy of Barbie's Dream House. God. That game's awful. Stop asking for stupid games, Junt. Junt loves VR. Junt... Jump's the man to ask for VR. Dr. 80s, I own the place. And it is slow, it is brutally slow right now. That's why I'm streaming. The original Ninja Turtles or the arcade, Millsy. I do have turtles. Here you go. You know what? You guys want to see some old arcade games? I'll just hook up my Raspberry Pi. Children of the Atom was hard. Yeah. Let me see if I got it. I'm not sure. I 
I don't at the moment. I thought I did. I was thinking of Street Fighter Alpha, but um, X Men versus Street Fighter. It's not that rare. It's probably like fifteen twenty dollar game. No, it doesn't censor swear words. But don't start. What old school game you want to see on uh, like Super Nintendo, Nintendo Arcade? I'll just hook up my Pi. Yeah, X Men versus Street Fighter. Those are those are my things. I like those games. I, I always like those. Yeah, I'm kind of bummed that the Marvel vs. Capcom doesn't have X Men in it. Breaking stuff. I dropped the remote. Not breaking it. Not a lot, Mr. Baltimore. Not a lot. Slow, slow, slow. Just streaming to pass the time. G Tech. I don't. I don't really, um, I mean, I only sell stuff on Amazon and eBay sometimes. I put some rare stuff that's been sitting in the store. You want, I'll put Barbie on just for you, John. I'll put Barbie on for John. Yeah, I don't. When did that come out, Dell? I didn't. I, I don't think I updated this one yet. No game pads detected. There we go. Hello. Hi. Help you. Mm -hmm. I want to sell them. Okay. Um, let me see how much that is. All right, just give me one second. All right. Okay. I haven't seen you in here in a while. I usually open. Uh, yeah, I don't. <laughs> I don't do mornings and stuff. Yeah. So you, did you open then? No. Okay, I was gonna say you opened a close. That kind of would suck. Everything's in there that came with it. The uh, the CD uh -huh. or like the you know the yeah. soundtrack or whatever to it. Yeah. So everything I never even opened this. So just letting you know. I only played it like once or twice. Scary but long and ridiculous. <laughs> Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, it's two, it's, they have Minecraft controllers now. That's not now. bad. Have you seen those? 200, that's not bad. No, yeah. I've never seen those either. Those just came out. Those are expensive though. Holy moly. Yeah. Almost 80 bucks. Yeah. Probably 80 bucks with tax. Yeah. The, that's the, insane. This one's... Does it come with that fair. Minecraft controller, it, that one? No, it doesn't. It's just a white system. There is a Minecraft system though that just came out. I've come out of them. You'd think but, they would, you yeah. know, since that... Whatever. Well, they do. They do have. They, they have one where the whole system looks like Minecraft. That's, so, that, so. that's pretty cool. Okay. We figured they would have done that a long time ago. Yeah. All right. For what you got here, um, it is. Are you looking for cash? Or, yeah. Okay. It's it's um it's actually it's twenty four in cash. It's Try adding that. This oh, I know what I know, I I know how it works. Yeah. That's why I wanted to see how much that was first. It sucks. This was forty bucks when I bought it. Yeah. Um, that I would, think it just came out when I got That would put you up to 40 in cash. Okay, that's awesome. You want to do that? Yeah, please. Do you have an idea on that? Actually, I don't. Do I need one? Usually for cash, but um, oh, I've never, I remember I've you. What's your name? Tiffany. Tiffany. Okay. Yeah, I've never, I don't even think I remember you showing anybody my ID for that. Usually when we take cash, we're, we're supposed to. It's what? been a while since I've sold any names. Fillmore, F-I-L-L-M-O-R-E. Okay. Hmm? 
I'm pretty memorable now with the haircut. <laughs> Shaving your head kind of makes everybody remember you. Thank you. There you go. Thanks a lot. Have a good one. You too. Yeah. Good luck closing. Don't you guys close earlier now? Seven. Seven. Yeah. yeah, we close at seven. I got two hours. There you go. Yeah. Bye. Thanks a lot. Nah, she, she's come in quite often. I'm not going to ask for phone number on stream either. I, I actually made that mistake one time. Um, some people, she, she's been in here when I was streaming before. I have a big sign posted on the door when you come in. I'm sure most people don't ignore it, but it basically um, says that you consent to be an on stream by entering here. That there's a stream going on and... That was, that was you, Flying Cow? I thought you were a dude. Okay, alright. Well, first I had a request from John. I don't even know if he's still in here, but... Let's go... There you go, John. Just for you. go it's Barbie oh hey yeah. enjoy it. you asked me in the other forum if I meant everybody golfs no it's everybody's golf We go, John. Once upon a dream. Oh, this is like the pinnacle of NES gaming right here. What should she do? Poop out diamonds? What the hell? Oh, well, I'll just take the hit. It's a, it's a dog. What the hell do you do in this game? Pokemon's alright. This is this might be the most bizarre game ever. All right, enough of this. Uh, yeah, actually, everybody's golf. Um, everybody's golf is uh is actually Hot Shots Golf. Um, I didn't know this until recently, but Hot Shots Golf was only called Hot Shots in America. It's called Everybody's Golf everywhere else in the world. But yeah, so it, it is Hot Shots, and you should get it. It is awesome. I play. I played Barbie. I didn't play for a full minute, did I? RC program. That's a good one. Oh, one or two. Let's do one. It's been so long since I've played this game. There we go. Oh, I gotta answer the phone. CNC Games. Hello? Hello, can I help you? Yeah. Um, yeah, is there a certain kind you're looking for, or, or for a system, for, for a s certain system? 
Oh, we only carry like the ones we carry like Sony and Microsoft and Turtle Beach. Um, like the headsets designed for game systems. We don't we don't have any Pete's. Sorry. Yeah, no problem. Bye. Somebody looking for Beats headsets. I'm not telling you my phone number so you can prank call me. You can. It's not hard to find online, but if if I start getting prank calls, I will just I will just turn off the phone. I don't sell the pies. It's just this is my own personal one. Yeah, someone called for beats. Let's throw a MAME game on. Or let's throw... Let's do some Final Burn Alpha. There we go. Since we were talking about Marvel before, how about... Talking X Men Street Fighter before. Let's do X Men. Play 1943 on SNES? All right. No, you got to put the games on there. Um, game, game store of the future. Game, GameStop's becoming more like a toy stop. They don't even really sell that many games anymore. The game Snake for a Nokia. No, no junk. Yeah, they're just ROMs on, on a, on a pie. I thought about selling pies pre-configured, but not with ROMs, because that would be illegal. <laughs> Screw that! I'm not get I'm not getting. Uh, I'm not going to jail for selling bootlegs. CNC Games. Hi. Sure. Okay. Yeah. No, they don't. No. Sorry. Yeah, you must be watching my live stream. So, yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. All right. Is that all you wanted? Yep. There's a switch right up above me. Yep. Yep, it's $59.99. It's awesome. It's probably the best game on the Switch. Bye. Oh, kid on the stream found the found the uh, phone number. I'm going to guess that it was Flying Cow Gaming.
Scott, I, I worked for GameStop for like, I worked for GameStop for about a decade. It sucked. It's literally the worst job ever. I managed a bunch of different GameStops. I'll just end up if 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 I'm gonna if people are gonna prank me like that, I'm just end, end up tell um turn it off the phone. I'll just unplug the phone. Delusional, you worked at GameStop? Terrible. God, I hated GameStop. I worked for them for like a little over ten years, and I had twelve different district managers. Yeah, I, I um actually. I worked for Babbage's, and then and then when they they bought Electronics Boutique, and they bought Funko Land, and then they changed it to GameStop. You quit right before. That's a good time to quit. Yeah, inventory blue. You'd be there all night doing that goddamn inventory. They they throw a lot of stuff away at GameStop. A lot of stuff. God, there's so much. I bet Dell could do this too if you're a manager. There's so much stuff that I probably destroyed back in the day that I wish I didn't. That you could fix now, but back then you couldn't fix CDs and Funko Land was awesome until GameStop bought them. Well, Babbage's bought them and then they changed the name to GameStop. Yeah, so did strategy guides and all that stuff. They'd make you rip the covers off of them. I, I rushed to get a few guides. Actually, the best thing I ever got from GameStop um, um, was I got my Mario my Mario statue that's in my other store. The just the regional manager came in one day and said Nintendo is not not paying us for advertising anymore to make that Mario disappear. So I made him disappear into my my car. Yeah, me too. I still have a ton of guides for him. Do I ever get trade-ins for modded consoles? Um, occasionally I'll get modded consoles. I, I generally don't take modded consoles, though. Um, G-Tech, not really. I mean, basic fixes sometimes I'll, I'll fix. Um... But I, that's generally something we don't do. It's getting to the point where it's not even worth it to fix them unless it's like a modern, like an Xbox One or a PS4. What's up from uh, Sweden? Cheers, Lord. I, I, have, I have a bunch of 360 neon signs, um, but I got most of them at my other store. I, I do got a bunch of those. I have two giant Master Chief statues at the other store. from Australia. I have family in Australia. My uncle and um, I got two cousins with families there that live in Australia. It's cool. I got to go to Australia sometime. They always come here and visit. They come here like once a year. They have a lot of money. Um, I don't think I... It costs a lot to go to Australia. To fly that far. Armpit, stop telling people where to get the number. I'm not here for your... I don't want a bunch of prank calls. So, Delusional, on your pie, do you do you go with the basic one, or um, do you do the... Uh, what is it? Let me go into the settings. I can't remember what it's called. The track mode. Do you do the track mode? A track mode always like seems to uh, um, it seems to be less stable. I know, but you don't have to post it in the stream for uh, for the little kitties to figure it out. Yeah, I agree with you. Track mode's too slow. That's why I that's why I've been keeping. I've been, I actually like this theme. It looks like an NES classic since I did the NES. Um, Yeah, track mode looks cool, but yeah, it's unstable. Probably when the Raspberry Pi 4... Um, when the Raspberry Pi 4 comes out, it'll probably be more stable. Oh, uh, let me...
let me go. Let me see here. Let me see themes. trying to remember um god i can't remember so where do you go to look i can't even remember where to look mad little pixels no i don't watch you know who i usually watch is um eta prime I watched the guy. He's the one that showed me about this theme. Now I can't remember what it's called. It's 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 an NES. They have a Famicom version too, but it's supposed to look like the NES um, classic. Die Hard for NES. That's a pretty rare game. We actually had we had two Die Hards at our other store, like back to back. We had one. We had it for a month, and it sold. And then we got another one. Cleveland Indians are awesome. Yeah, ETA Prime, NES Mini Theme. Yep. That's where I found it uh, at Delusional. Know the movie stream the whole movie. Yeah, and then I'll get I'll get a um I'll get a a, a copyright takedown. This is just as good as a movie, right? Actually, this game, this game, if you have it on a cartridge, is about a hundred bucks. This is just as good as a movie. What's up, Alex? What's new? This is just like watching the movie. You know what game they need to remake? Yeah, Yippee Kaye. They need to remake uh, um, Zombies Ate My Neighbors. C CNC Games. Dude watching a stream. Stop calling. Phone's disconnected. So you might as well stop calling. I just unplugged the phone. Yeah, Alan Rickman. Yeah. This is this is just as good as a movie. The mini SNES will be um, will be eighty dollars, seventy nine ninety nine. They 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 should remake Zombie Eight My Neighbors. I'm gonna put that on. I do the Super Nintendo one. I mean, I'm getting them here, so I I did not I didn't get a pre-order on one, but I'm getting about I'm getting about 20 of them here. So, oh hey, Los Angeles royalty, I saw your your wife was getting something done, right? Eighty dollars in pounds, I don't know off the top of my head. You need to talk to me offline. Yeah, yeah, I, you know, I, I'm getting some. It, they, I'll, I'll tell you, delusional. Um, 
they are they're going to have they purposely didn't take a lot of reserves uh, at places because Nintendo wants people to be able to walk in the day and get them the day they come out. Hello? Hello? Yeah, I took this phone off the um, off the hook because I was getting a bunch of prank calls. So, so just Morrowind for the. Let me check. Hold on. No, I do not. Sorry. Yep, bye. Well, that's the thing. Like, they know my cell phone, so real people I need to talk to can just call my cell phone. Like, my that was my other store. They were like, what's wrong with the phone? Yeah, well, about the SNES Classic, they, they're, um, most places will have extras day one, like Walmarts will have extras, um, um, Toys R Us. Toys R Us, it kind of pisses me off because they put out a... Um, they put out like a statement saying that their stores will have at least 30 extra at the bare, bare, bare minimum up to 90. So all Toys R Us stores will have at least 30 to 90 that you could just walk in and get that day. And I can't believe Nintendo is even dealing with them knowing they're probably going out of business and they owe shitloads of money. I wish Nintendo just wouldn't even give them to Toys R Us and they would, uh, they would give other places more. Hello. Anything I can help you guys with? Yeah. Probably. I have a take question a before any of them did it. Um, so, like, if I turn 14, like, could I work here? Uh, if we're hiring people, yeah, but uh, we, we're not hiring anybody at the uh, moment. At the moment, okay. Yeah. Sorry, I'm turning 14 in December, and I really want to work here. Well, you guys got lots of stuff, huh? Yeah. All of them is a lot of games. What are, you, are you guys looking to get some other games? Um, it's probably just selling. Okay. Well, not him. He's um, is putting wants to put it on a card so he can get this game that he wants. Pokemon. Are these all together or are these separate? Uh, separate. No. Oh, separate. Okay, fine. Separate. So, you just you just have these ones. Yeah. These are, these are yours. Yeah, those are all PlayStation Two. Yeah, I see that. One well, except for these, but this one was from here. <clears throat> I mean, Kira wanted to get one of those, those people, pops. the pops, maybe these tiny ones. Even if I do get anything, it's probably gonna be that Minecraft keychain, what the Pac-Man one. In the back, right there. Oh, oh yeah, I like that. If I if I do have enough to get something, I'm probably gonna get one of them pops. If I don't have no, enough, no, I know what. It's that Inside Out keychain right there. Wait, do you guys have an extra replay? Not for DS at the moment. Oh, what's it for? Um, I don't have any at the moment on an extra replay. I'm sorry. No. I thought that's what you were looking over there. For do you have to like try out all the games and stuff? No, but I'm um, gonna tell you some of these. Actually, a lot of these I'm not gonna be able to take. Oh. Uh -huh. so. That's fine. Um, There's these ones too. Did you come here real quick? Is there like so much of them, or like people don't buy them anymore? Well, um, PS2 ones without the boxes and stuff—they're not worth a 
ton. So I'm lo I'm looking up which ones are worth money and which ones aren't. So just. I don't have up. any emblem list. Like this kind? Is this? A, isn't this a pop? Like ghost to a pop? It's not a pop, but it's ghost. The pop figures are up there. I know this is the pop figure I want to get from here. Here, I'll just bring it up. And you're about to be up, of course. Yes, you'll get it. This is the one I want, and then I want to get cupcake. Foxy and then Bonnie. Um, let me see how much you guys got, because I, I will tell you, like, all right, the ones you brought up are here. I could only take these two. What two? Uh, black and red faction. Um, the other ones, like, like the 360 one you brought me, it's got a big crack in it, so it's not gonna work. Yeah, some of them. Uh, I knew you couldn't take this one. I don't yeah, know I can't take that there. one. Um, but that one's not gonna work. And these ones. Uh, uh, they probably work, but they're just not worth anything. Yeah, because no one really plays them. So, those ones I wouldn't be able to take. So, that's good. Do you want me... So, like, like these two here would be about $3. Um, uh, but I gotta look up some of these here. Uh, see, but doubt they're... Do you want me to do them together? Yeah, or? that's fine. Of course. Why can't we just do them separate also? You can do it separate. You want me to put $3 on a gift card for you? Um... No, I'll just take $3. Alright, well we give a little bit less for cash than we do credit, so it'd be a little bit less. Um, no, we're we just put it on the card. Okay. Let me... So it's pretty um, much you can you can only buy stuff at, uh, at here. here. So, yes, yes. Alyssa, are you selling all those also? Yes. Uh, I haven't even... Yeah, let, let me do her gift card. First. Okay. What, what's, what's this? Because... That's our membership card. Wait, you guys have Pokemon? Yeah, it just came out. I don't have a Nintendo Switch though. Huh? You yeah. wouldn't be able to play it then. Yeah, cause I don't oh, play is, Pokemon, is that a Nintendo Switch? Games. Yep. And there's a Nintendo Switch with, that you can take everywhere you go. I wouldn't know anything about this stuff because I don't really know oh. anything about it. If I, I played any type of video games, it would probably be Minecraft um, there's something or Call of Duty. Also, I just got. Uh, yeah. Also, I got Pokemon Snap. I actually pre-purchased it and I actually got theme of it with a selfie. That's good. Yeah. Um, Kira, where's it? Put and I'm the probably gonna be getting Ultra somewhere when this is with a selfie on it. Also. Wait, can you look up the games that you don't think that you can take? Uh, yeah, actually, I just looked up the other games. This is the only one I would take in this one because it's only worth like a quarter. But but I can let me yeah. check all these, okay? But these ones I yeah, we were just trying to like get rid. Of, wait, do you, what you what? Those ones I can't take. I just okay. they're just not worth a whole lot, and they're all scratched. So. I, have to pass I thought that these ones were like. Is this part of it? Too? Yeah. Okay. Let me check these. That was actually. Yeah, okay. Let me check these. I mean, if this is only worth a quarter, then I'll just put it. You want to keep it? Yeah. I would keep it. Because yeah. I don't usually go here, so it would most likely all be in my cash and stuff. Okay. It only has come to the I see that. <laughs> What's this game that's on the screen? Uh, it's called Zombies Ate My Neighbors. Is that like for like the... It's an old Super Nintendo game. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I'm like, I think it's like an on? NES or Super NES game. Also, I have a freaking DS. A 3DS, like the original model, I have it with me right now, but I'm not selling it. Definitely not. But I like that red one, though. That red one. That one red one right there? Or that right there? No, the one, like, right there. Oh. On top of the blue one. Yeah. I know it. 
Assassin's Creed. So are you going through Alyssa? This one? Mm -hmm. So can I get anything here or not? Um, you'd have to pay like extra if you wanted a pop because you only have three dollars. I would suggest just a pop. I think they're about ten bucks. Street, Street Fighter Alpha? My brother comes here like every week. Not every week, but I said about every week. About. This is cool. Four, mm -hmm. five, six, seven, I know that November seventeenth, I'm coming back here. And September what? November eighteenth. Well, November seventeenth, actually. Switches do you have in stock? Just a couple at the moment. Oh. Huh, okay. Dang, we can get it soon. What? Mon Monday mom's getting the house. Remember? Maybe tax time or Christmas. For what? The Nintendo Switch. Or your birthday. Okay. Like, for what you have here, it is about $15. Store credit? Yeah, store credit if you want the cash. Um, $10 maybe. It's, um, it's, it's, it's 11 25 Oh, I was close. Mm. Yeah, I don't, I don't think, yeah, I don't think I'll, I'll be able to do it. Do you want to keep them? Yeah. Okay, sorry. Well, why not put them on my card? Oh, never mind. All right. Sorry. Now, here's what I'm selling. I actually have a receiver again. Hey, Pokemon oh. Black. What are you doing? And then these. If I have enough for them. Did you guys need help at all? Or did you I, I think that my son just had to go in okay. to talk to you. So okay. <laughs> we can wait. We're not. We're patient. It's funny. Because I actually have three games on my own, I want to cut my own card. Because uh, the old result team is releasing in about two months, when October comes back. I gotta put 40 on the card and the rest I'm getting that, so if I have spare, I'll tell you. If you do, I'll have spare because I want that chicken pop. Uh, 
Sonic Mega Collection Plus, Sonic Animation, and Sonic Heroes. Oh, I like Sonic Animation and Sonic Heroes. And so if we move, when we have the PlayStation 2, we'll see how we do it. He said he's gonna give us give us that PlayStation PlayStation 2. Will we move? Yeah, I know. Do you think it should be my bedroom and you come in? Um, we're put, me and Alyssa's mom said that we may we have we're probably gonna share a room. Who, me and you? Yeah. All right, that'll be fun. Help us have a room. Um, I would love to take this one. It's a little too scratch. Plus, it's only the play disc. There's two discs for Grand Theft Auto. Oh yeah. Grand Theft Auto what? How much would it be if I had like two discs? Oh man, uh, this one is really scratch. So um. Yeah, only about like 10 bucks. 10 bucks? Yeah. Um, but without the install disc, it's not much. And, and honestly, um, Sniper Elite's probably the only one of these ones I would take at the moment. But let me, let me look it up. Here, Clint. Please. Oh, listen. Well, go and do my stuff. Can you go tell her to go get something to eat and come back and get it? Alright, it takes a little bit of time to look all this I stuff. I know, up. especially when you have to. Okay, if you return this game and and you trade for these two in, you have $40.58. $40.58? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Um, I have $40.58. Can I put that on the card? Yeah. Okay. Okay, but do you want these games? Yes, but I really need $7. Yeah. I don't have $7. I don't have enough for it. Do you, that's all seven dollars? Well, this this is eight dollars. Did no, no, you no. want us to trade these in? Yeah. Did you want the money or the money? Okay. Nathan, I want <coughs> Do you have any Xbox ones? Yeah. 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 How much are they? Um, they started at two fifty. Well, new two fifty for a five hundred gig. Um, okay. With Minecraft. Um, there's one that comes with Madden for two seventy nine. Um. I do not. Okay. Yeah, we so want to put them two seventy for a man and one. No. Right, and two fifty for one that comes with Minecraft. All right. Yeah. All right. That's what we need. Yeah. And then there's bigger ones with bigger hard drives and stuff. Hold but on. Okay, but they, they started. Start. Okay, cool. Thank you very much, honey. Have a good night. A forty dollars Nintendo eShop card. Um, two twenty. So you can get two twenty. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. I wanted to get them if I had enough, but I don't have enough. For any of them, I'm recording Sonic Heroes. How much you got? You already owe me, so I... You don't have enough for these. For all three of them? Yeah, you got $40. You'd have plenty. Oh, and then you have to... But how much would you have left? Um, he here, would... if you get these... If he had extra, he already would owe me $5. Or one of those two chains, at least. Well... Yeah. If, if you, you got these three, mm -hmm. you still have nineteen dollars and forty three cents left. Get, get me the. Uh, I'm not. I'm not saying I'm getting it yet. Hey, who are you? Well, I wanted to put. Hold on. Put ten. No, put fourteen on your card. Something. What about that then, Alyssa? Katie, that's $11. And well, but you, you owe could, me. Well, you, you, you could put 15 on it. Just put the 40 on the card. You don't want to get the game? Hold on. So, how much is Sonic Heroes? Sonic Heroes is $7.19. So that would be 33 There's a little bit of tax to it, but yeah. Okay, if you just got Sonic Heroes... So what do you want to do? Get Sonic Heroes and put the rest in the car. Okay. Because you want to give me the front thing you want. Well, you already have that, Alyssa. Right. Yeah, well, but Sonic that's Heroes. for me. What I got. Not, I got for what, not for what you owe me.
How about I just get all three games and then I'll get a entire keychain? Whatever you want to do. And get $10 for each other. Wait. Oh, yeah, there's okay. Well, I still got to do hers. Yeah. So. so you have that. So. Here, one of these. So that means I have four dollars left. But you should just put that in your truck too. Well then, I'll just put it. In, I'll just put it. In. No problem. Doesn't it, doesn't it close soon? We close at seven. I still got over an hour. You said ten dollar each on card, right? Yes. How much are the keychains? Which which keychain? The inside out. Which one? The inside out one. Those? Yeah. Um, okay. those are seven million. Okay. Okay, so yeah, because he's got nine forty three left. He'd have enough money. You'd have enough if you do your credit though, too. Yeah, so I already took care of the mom. Let's so go. Sorry, so it's taking so long because almost like that got to lose. Oh, get the car. You're done getting the car. Are you done? Mm -hmm. Almost. Alright, that leaves you, if you get this with 88 cents and then I still gotta finish this up, okay? Mm -hmm. You said you wanted the money for that, right? Yeah. Okay. So can I get this now? Yep. Yeah. You want a bag? Uh, no, thank you. Alright, here, you, let me give you your change. I'm just gonna give it to you. How much is it? 88 cents. Right. I'll just record it with my sisters. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you gonna give me the, you could just sell it, Melissa? Oh, sorry about that. Let me bring your receipt. Here, let me give you a receipt, okay? Here, here's your receipt. Here's your receipt. What are, what, what are these for? Those are the ones I couldn't take. So basically, DJ, go on here. Alright, so basically, the last one I basically did was put the black. I'm not allowed to do any ones. Yeah. Yeah. We can't keep returning games like this. Wait, were these in here? I'll probably back. No, but and you can have that. So you wanted the money for these. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. See you guys. I don't even know what I missed on the comments. Let me see if I can get rid of the music. Sorry. D Derek logged in and it turned the... logged us out. I agree with you, Mercenary, on the new games do smell good. Oh man, sweet. Yeah, Dirk messed everything up. Yeah, Jonesy, I got Pokemon Pokemon tournament in, and I sold a ton of them. That like has been the game of the day. What's up, LA? Yeah, sorry. I, I don't know why it does that. Like, if somebody's on the account and then they log in at their house, it like messes up the stream. It's so dumb. Yeah, sorry about that. Oh, they didn't have everything, though. They had a lot of. There was a lot I turned away on that. There's just some, some bad, 
bad games. I, I kind of feel bad for like those kids. The mom was kind of mean. She might have just been having a bad day, but. FIFA, uh, I think that comes out on Tuesday, so we'll probably get it on Monday. I don't, I, honestly, I gotta look. Did I, I'll have to go back and look at the, um, I'll go back and look at the, um, the comments. Everybody behave themselves for the most part. Let me look up FIFA. I think it's Tuesday. Actually, it's actually the 20, 29th? Are they doing the early access thing? Wow, 29, it's, it's a Friday release, so probably on Thursday. Yeah, I did buy some nicely scratched games. Um, luckily, I can fix them. It's a pain in the ass, though, but yeah, I can fix them. The Ronaldo edition. Yeah, we'll be getting that, too. That that one's 80 bucks. The Ronaldo edition. Let me go back and look at some of these comments. Um, The world ends tomorrow. Yeah, I, I doubt the world's gonna end tomorrow. I saw somebody. Um, we are in Port Clinton, Ohio. We're in Port Clinton, Ohio. We have another store in Fremont, Ohio. Where are you from? Bad Pat. I gotta make covers for some of these games. The only problem with that kid is he keeps he keeps returning games, so I told him it was the last time. Best selling game of the month? Probably Madden. Most definitely Madden. Um Destiny's close. Madden, we sold a lot more Maddens. NBA 2K is up there. NBA 2K is probably second, then probably Destiny. Love USA, yes. I love USA too. FIFA will not be our best seller. FIFA just doesn't sell real great here in the States. Um, we probably we probably sell one FIFA for every for like twenty Maddens. It's just not a big soccer area or or football as you say overseas I need money too bro I'm sure France is nice. There's a lot of nice countries.
No, nope, not gonna send you a PSN card. Sorry, you missed it. We were giving away free free PSN cards like a couple hours ago. Where am I from? I'm from Ohio. I'm from Sandusky, Ohio. Later, Scott. You live in Wales. That's cool. The new the Jonesy, the new Marvel vs. Capcom is good. Um but it's kind of a bummer at the same time because they don't have any X-Men and um, and no and none of the Fantastic Four either. Um, Disney made since they own Marvel now they they're still pissed they don't own the rights to um, X-Men for movies and uh, um, and Fantastic Four, so they made Capcom not put any of the X-Men in it. So there's no Wolverine or Magneto, which are like. Those are like two of the biggest characters in the Marvel games. NBA 2K is really good. Just keep making accounts, free war team trials. That would get annoying though. That is true, you're not supposed to use your hands in foot, that's why it's called football. I'll, I'll call it American football from now on. But it is the National Football League. That's what NFL stands for. So. You're going to get WWE? Yeah. Um, well, here's the thing, though. Like, Disney, uh, um, um, Disney uh, has the movie rights for the rest of it. But before they bought Marvel... Um, Fox, is it Fox? I think it's Fox has the movie rights for X-Men. Um, X-Men and Fantastic Four. So Disney is just pissed and they're they're trying to not help them at all. I heard in the comics they killed off the Fantastic Four. Like, basically just to piss Fox off. Um, so yeah, they're, they're not allowing they're not allowing uh, Capcom to put any X-Men in the game. And even Deadpool, I think they own the rights to Deadpool for Fox. So I'm pretty sure Deadpool's not in it. What's up, Hard Rooney? I mean, I can kind of understand Disney, but it is kind of a dick move at the same time. I really, I really don't think by putting X-Men in a fighting game you're really going to help out. Um, you're going to be helping out uh, Fox's movies. I think Disney's being is taken. That's a little bit of a stretch, but that is the reasoning that they're not in it. kind of silly honestly they need to make a new one of this this game would be awesome if they remade it with like modern graphics still made it top down but made it like a twin stick shooter hello because I was getting a bunch of pranks Yeah. Well, uh, let me check. Just a second. Hold on, okay? If you want some old Madden, so I'm your man. Yeah. Alright. No. Alright. Alright. Yep. Bye. Yeah, Mortal Kombat, yeah, that was a great one. Um, 
the Mortal Kombat versus, you know what, what Mortal Kombat I want to see again? I want to see the Mortal Kombat uh, Shaolin Monks, the one that was a beat-em-up. I love beat-em-ups. I'm like a sucker for beat-em-ups. That's one of my favorite types of games. Yeah, the South Park game we are waiting forever for. Um, I'm sure it'll be good, though. Those guys are kind of perfectionists. The first one was really good, so I'm sure the second one will be great. Uh, car racing was kind of... I didn't like the car racing. GT Sport soon. When is GT Sport? I'll tell you. Check my release dates. Uh, October 17th on GT Sport. FIFA in one week. I gotta make some cases up. sure on the middle earth let me check i should i should know that stuff but i i just don't there is a, a special edition there's a couple there's a gold edition which is a hundred dollars um the regular one's fifty nine ninety nine. Um, the gold edition. Let's see what the gold edition has. It's probably just the the season pass. You get four legendary orc champions. Um, who really cares? That's all you get. So the gold edition, you get four legendary orc champions. I don't know if that's worth like $40. Uh, I'll probably just get the regular one myself. And then there is, a, um, unfortunately it's GameStop exclusive, but there's a My Precious bundle. And you get a ring with it. You get a ring, a necklace with a, a ring. Um, and it's, it's basically the gold edition and you're paying for a necklace with the ring. So, Red Dead trailer on Thursday. I can't wait. Uh, October 13th is really easy to remember. It's Friday the 13th, October the 13th. That's when that game comes out. CNC games. Yeah. Yeah, PSP. Yeah, we, we carry PSP. We got quite a few games. The game? Are you looking for the system itself or just the games? Um, they are kind of expensive at the moment. They're about $80. They're just kind of getting harder to come by. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Bye. So what's what's happening, guys? What are you guys playing? You guys, gonna ask me some questions or something?
game, well, I guess GameStop doesn't know what they're talking about. Yeah, it comes out Friday the 13th. I am positive. The Friday the 13th game comes out on Friday the 13th, October the 13th. Yeah, PSPs are getting up there in price. It's because everybody's hacking them. Everybody figured out they can hack them. Wrong hand. Everything's backwards. What's up, Aaron? Good old Jason Voorhees. My God, I'm looking at Madden cover art, and like, there's, there's like cover art with. Johnny Manziel on it. Really? That dude sucks. Actually, Joni, Jonesy Madden uh, Dreamcast came out for you must be in a different in a different part of the world because it came out on nine nine ninety nine so September 9th here in America. So where are you from, Jonesy? But my favorite game on Dreamcast, God, I just, there are a lot. I have more games for Dreamcast than I have just about any other game system personally. Um. There's so many good ones, but I was I was actually I'm big into fighters, so I'll probably say like Marvel vs. Capcom 2. UK, yeah, in America it came out on 9.999. So it looks like it came out a little bit later for you guys. We were busy earlier today. It's not. I mean, now it's not. I just got a bunch of trade-ins. I'm kind of half working on doing them. Somebody traded a Destiny in a Blu-ray box. It looks like a PS2 one. It's actually, it's actually the Xbox One version. So I'm gonna switch out the case. Second, let me grab, grab an Xbox case. Replacement Xbox case. Yeah, I think the world the world has it it ended before too. There was another time somebody um predicted the world was ending and it 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 never happened. I'm sure we'll just we'll we'll all be back here on Sunday. We'll all be alive come Sunday. It, hey, if do I got stock 64? I think I have a few. Um if you think the world's ending tomorrow, why don't you guys all send me your money 
and you won't need it anymore, so you might as well just send it all to my PayPal account. Let me see what I got, Dell. I'll look. I'm sure between my, this store and the other store, I probably have some official um, N64 controllers. Let me check. I actually don't have any official ones at the moment. Um, I mean, I have some with systems in the back. I can always, I can always get them, but um, uh, yeah, the two, when it turned to 2000, the world was gonna end. Like all the computers were gonna like just collapse. Um, I'm sure my other store probably has some too. I can always get them if you need them. I can, I can get them. I mean, I, I know I have some like. have some I have some with like systems that I saw like that's packaged up in there that's an official one I can always like I can always sell them separately and put a generic one in with the system no controllers Mario 64 is my favorite game of all time I love that game I really wish Nintendo would remake that game with modern graphics. That would be awesome. Um, I was pretty lucky when I started this business though. Uh, I mean, you, you need a little bit of luck when you start a business, but I started it um, with my business partner, and uh, um, we uh, we started with about thirty grand, which you couldn't start this place for thirty grand now. But we started in a real tiny, real tiny, um, tiny store, and uh, we were lucky. There was a there was an internet provider in the area that wanted to uh, they they rented out our back room for from us and uh, basically paid our rent for the first year uh, and we got free internet so that was like a really big help um, that was just that was just honestly it was just dumb luck to get that kind of a deal right place right time so our first year we had free rent and free internet so that that gave us off on a good start and we did pretty well right away and then we we opened and then we moved into a bigger location about two years later then we opened another store in Bowling Green, Ohio. Then we opened this store. So we had three stores at one time. And uh, um, we closed the Bowling Green store, not because it was doing bad, but um, it was just doing okay. Um, but the landlord was a real jerk, and the building was just falling apart. And I was sick of dealing with the landlord, and I didn't want to put up with him anymore. And you would think, hello. You would think a place would do real well in a college area, but the problem is that we do when we do most of our, most of our business, the college kids leave around Christmas time, so it, it didn't do quite as well as you would think. Hello, did you guys need help find anything? All right. If you hear me randomly talking over here, I'm talking to people online. I'm not crazy, so. Flappy Bird will not work on the newer phones. I read that. It's not the one. It's here. I had I had a free T one connection for my first year in business. That was a that was an awesome deal. Well, I didn't, they, they basically, they paid me to rent out my back room and they paid me what it cost in rent. So yeah, I didn't really, 
So, so if you think about it that way, I really didn't have to pay rent for like a year. I, I was able to negotiate a deal with them, and they paid me pretty much what the rent was to rent out my back room. So I had all the internet equipment in the back room. Uh, James, I do not at the moment. I had one personally, and when they got up to a crazy price, I sold it. Those are nuts how much they cost. Yeah, the only way, a lot of people don't know this, but the only way you could get those component cables back in the day was straight from Nintendo. You had to order them from, from Nintendo themselves. Um, and they didn't, I mean, that's, that's why they never sold them in stores. Um, that's why they're pretty rare. And also there's like a chip in it that um, nobody's been able to reproduce yet. I'm sure they probably reproduce, but not at a, a reasonable cost. I ordered mine straight from Nintendo back in the day. I actually, I didn't even know they were going crazy, and then, uh, um, and then I, I did. You know, there there are um, there are people doing HDMI mods for GameCubes now, though. The only thing is, like, if you really want to play GameCubes in HD with component, just get a Wii that plays GameCube games. I know you can't do it for. If you want to do the, um, if you want to do Game Boy Advance games, but if you still have three, you should sell some. They're going for big money. I would do it before the HDMI mod becomes a really big thing. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. Actually, pack of smokes. We pretty much have the same deals they do. The, the, I'll give you a little, a little inside information about Black Friday deals. Um, a small percentage of it is just like GameStop or us making up a promotion. Like, like sometimes I'll look if I have like a ton of of something, I will put it on Black Friday sales. But most of the big Black Friday sales, I already know most of the Black Friday deals. Um, those are done by the companies themselves. Like, like for example, EA Madden's going to be uh, forty bucks um, on Black Friday. Um, but those the companies do that themselves. And then if you're if you're uh, if you're on like their their plans, like the price protection and stuff like that, they'll they give you that deal. So like every Madden I sell, they'll reimburse me the twenty dollars. It's not quite twenty. It's about it's about fourteen, but oh, fifteen dollars. They reimburse me, but it'll be um, it'll be on sale for forty dollars on Black Friday. I, I know most of the deals in, in all the all the game systems. Those those deals those are all offered from from the companies. So like when uh, when PlayStation fours go down or or like Xbox ones, you have to um, you have to tell them how many you sell and they reimburse you. How long have I been at this store? This store has been open about like seven years. Our other store is about 12. That monster fridge, that's at our other store. I, I could have got one here, but um, I just don't have the room here. That store is a lot bigger. Auric, what do you mean by Auric? Do I have an Auric? Mr. Fusion, I'm thinking about it. I have to see if it's any good. I just have the one magic carp. I got some more on order, but they haven't come yet. No, I don't have an Aura computer then. I don't 
think I've even heard of an Auric. That is old school. Was it any good? Find one? Yeah. Awesome. That's a fun one. It's for you, right? Not him? It's for me. Well, well, well. I actually don't mind playing these with my... I, I play the Lego games with my kids. They like them. I like them. I have like a whole box of Legos at my I have mom's so many house. Legos at my house, it's crazy. <laughs> I have like five five million. That's a lot. You got one of our discount cards? Uh, I don't know. What what is it though? It's it's like it's called the spot on card. It's free. It gives you ten percent okay. off. That'll save you a few bucks. If you don't have one, it's free. It takes two seconds to sign up. Yeah, I got it right here. Right. Can you scan it? Yeah, yeah, you uh, um, just hold that up in front of the camera right here. There you go. See how many points you get. You want to get another $5 off? You have enough points. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. What do you do? Just hit that. Done. You get another 5 bucks off. Cool. <laughs> That's what I have. That one more. When's the new uh, Call of Duty come out? Uh, it's in November. Let me let me double check. Your receipts in the bag. I should know it off the top of my head. I always forget. It's terrible with dates. Uh, I'll tell you here in two seconds. Uh, November 3rd. Alright, right, man. Thank you. No problem. Nice no life. No, I've never been to UK. Um, an Italian sub sounds good right now. Dude was not a crackhead. <laughs> We're not. We're not big enough to be like those, those uh, um, like Walmart or something where you, they, they, we get the same deals with Walmart. All, all those game deals, those are usually um, done by the companies. Um, but I'm not selling stuff. No, GameStop's not putting us out of business. If anything, GameStop will be out of business in about three to four years unless some laws change. I would say Amazon hurts people more than GameStop. Actually, Amazon's hurting GameStop more than anything. James, I had a, um, I had a, um, an Atom computer that ran on cassettes. I Did you told help you it about on? the PSP. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I have it at 89, but I told you 80, so I'm... Yeah, I'm going to buy some more things on you, Okay. Um, it comes does, with, it comes with a charger. Okay, does that go to the computer? Um, the, you would just, you need a USB cable to connect it to the computer. It's, it's a... Can you have those? Um, yeah, I do. Let me, let me go see what I got. All right. And where would the games be for that? Right over here. Let me show you. Okay. This is the cable that it needs to connect to the computer. Hey, Lexi. Yeah. Can we get me a music on? Mm -hmm. No. Kind of a 
standard one? Or? Um, standard one can be there. Okay. Yeah, it turns into a standard one. Yeah. So, if you need one, we have one. I got plenty. So there's the beans are over here. That one is twenty nine ninety nine. I do not have any hockey. I have everything but hockey. I guess I'd ask for the one I didn't have. College. Yeah, I have no hockey. Well, what's another good popular one? Um, I mean, it depends what. I mean, is it, what does it like besides hockey? Yeah. Well, I like basketball. Does he like like any regular games like like Mario or stuff like that? Or? Yeah. There's there's a ton of you like racing games. I'd say like his burnout games are really fun. Um, um, just depends what you're into. We'll be right back. I right, answer that phone. Right. CNC Games. Okay, what about? Now it only has 22 games on it. The original Friday the 13th was on regular Nintendo, not Super Nintendo. Yeah, what about, what about, if you're, how do you know if you're playing on a pro? Well, the pro is bigger than the PS4. Um, it's got like, Yeah, that's not a pro. Yeah. I got to run. Thanks for the call. Bye. I'm up. Okay. All right, kid. You.
You, yeah, it was. It was a prank call. So I unplugged the phone again. So obviously I can't stream and have the phone on. The kid thinks he's funny. You know what? I don't mind if you if you're gonna prank call, just be funny. Don't just waste my time. Home Alone on NES. Um, I don't have that in store at the moment. Amazon won't. Um, there is always going to be a need for local places. And actually, um, pet, pack of smokes. I don't. I don't want to get too much into political stuff, but Amazon actually violates a lot of uh, a lot of antitrust laws, especially with vi in the video game industry. Um, all right, delusional. I will. I will. I will check. I will check. Um, but. Um, the other thing, Trump, I, this is about as much as I want to say about Trump or whatever. Trump actually hates the owner of Amazon, and it wouldn't surprise me if they start cracking down on some of their, their business practices that Amazon does. But other than that, I don't want to get into, I don't want to talk political stuff. Do I have a virtual boy? I actually have two at the moment. You mean about switches getting scratched in the um, Super, Super Dave is drunk raging? He, when is he not drunk raging? I like Super Dave, though. He's a good dude. Um, you mean, are you talking about, like, the where you put him in the dock and it scratches him? Just put a screen protector on your Switch. I recommend that to everybody that buys one. Okay, I'll give you one for example, um, J Love. Uh, one recently, when you bought, when you bought the um, the uh, the newest Uncharted game at Amazon, you got a code for um, the Jack and Daxter game, or yeah, whatever it was, the Jack Jack game, which is about a fifteen dollar. They're selling the game for fifteen dollars on uh, um, on PSN. That um, that right there basically gave Amazon a fifteen dollar discount on every game they sold. Um, that's illegal to do unless you offer that to everybody. You can't, you can't give like special editions to one place and not make the same offer to the other place. I know a lot of, you know, the, the pre-order bonuses, all those pre-order bonuses, we get some of the pre, we get most of the pre-order bonuses, but legally, if you offer something somewhere, you have to offer the same thing other places or something equivalent. Um, and if you don't, you're, that's the, the, it violates if you want to look it up, it's the Robinson Patman Act, um, to be specific. And what's really ironic about that is uh, years ago, um, the owner of Barnes and Noble, who ironically owns GameStop as well, got sued for doing the same thing at Barnes and Nobles with books. If you went to Barnes and Nobles, you got the cool special cl edition collectors hardcover um, book. And if you went everywhere else, it was a soft cover, shitty version, and it was the same price. So, of course, everybody went to Barnes & Nobles to get their books. Um, they got sued and successfully got sued. Not Pac-Man, Pat-Man. Robinson Pat-Man Act. Um, yeah, so, yeah it's, it's, it's set up to protect small businesses so that the big guys just can't come in and get a better deal and, and screw everybody else. It's actually illegal to do that, and they do it all the time, especially with video games. It's not Pac-Man. It's P-A-T-M-A-N, Pat-Man Act. The Robinson, it's Robinson Pat-Man Act. If you guys want to do some reading, and if there's any lawyers out there that would love to sue the video game industry, I'm all about it. Uh, Walmart too. Here's the thing, though. You can you can uh, you can have a lot of times you'll see you'll see a pre-order bonus. You'll see one at one store. You get a different item at another store and a different item at another store. That's legal if everybody has like something similar. But 
to just do it at one place and not other places, it's that's illegal. Yeah, it would be cooler if it was a Pac-Man act, but it's not. It's the Robinson Pac-Man. It was a kid that prank called me, and it's the second time he called, too. He's just being stupid. He's asking questions he knows the answers to. I do know my stuff. That's why I've been in the business so long. I've been selling games since 1993. I've been... I've been working in video game retail since 1993. I've sold games for most of my life. I worked at, before before I started my own place, I worked at a place, my first job, my well not my first job, but my first job in video games. Uh, I worked at a place called Player's Edge in Toledo, Ohio. And after that, I got a job at Babbage's, which eventually became GameStop. And then I, GameStop sucks, so I started my own place. What's up, Sauce? I've probably been selling games for longer than half the people that are in here um, are have been alive. Yeah, I make good money selling games. I mean, this store is slow, but it's this this store still makes pretty good money. And then our other store just does phenomenal. So. I actually have a couple game gears in the back that I need to fix. I've just been too lazy to fix them. 93, you were 10. Yeah, I was selling, I was in college in 1993 and I was working at a game store. Yeah, you know, you're right, Midnight, a little bit. Like, the game companies, they don't make, like, complete games anymore. The games that they do make complete games, like Grand Theft Auto, um... Even though Grand Theft Auto has a lot of DLC, it's still like a really big, complete game to start. That's why it still sells real well. We just we just sell. We don't. Do I? You mean do I own the building or rent? I rent the building. Game Gear is not a lot. They're not worth a lot. I would love to sue the shit out of the video game companies though one day for all the all the violations that they do all the they break so many antitrust laws it's not even funny i don't know project cars just came out today and i haven't played gt sport so that's that's gonna be tough hope this lady comes back and buys this psp no you can't get a free game sorry muffin we gave out free games yesterday. I just need a good antitrust lawyer. I mean, literally, I could sue the video game industry for millions of dollars, no doubt about it. Like I said, the one, the Barnes and Nobles, it, a couple independent uh, booksellers got together and sued Barnes and Nobles, and they won for $25 million. And it's the exact same thing if you substitute books for video games. Yes, it's legal to do that, um, J Love, because technically they're still new. Um, we do it here. It's just that's Super Nintendo. Right. Yeah, just gonna get the system, or? Yeah, I guess so. Did you get your Pikachu? And yeah. Pikachu. Oh, I like Pikachu. <gasps> Put on your book bag. Which one? That, does that mean, oh, that don't need batteries? No, it's got, it's got a, um, let me see if it's even charged. Then. It's going to need charged, uh, okay. but this is the charger. Okay. Um, it plugs in right here. You just have to plug this part into there. That's it. You can play it while it charges, but it's okay. going to need a charge. Um, 
94, 14 is the total good credit. Does it have a chip on it? I don't know. No. Go ahead and swipe it. It says card. I don't know. Like, can we continue? No, it's Yeah, you just gotta, you gotta press the button. That's oh, this one? Yeah. Yep. Oh. Alrighty. Yeah, I know everybody's used to touch screens now. Yeah. Yeah. Even though it's new, it's still kind of old school. Just need. Oh, hell, I couldn't go on far right now. Jeez. You're on his name. Yeah. That's Whatever, right. it doesn't matter. That one's your copy. Oh, Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Thank you, sir. Have fun. All right, you got your. I got Pikachu. Thanks a lot. Yeah, I don't. The only thing, Eric, about that, I don't think I could have proved it with GameStop. It would have been hard. It wouldn't even been worth it. Uh, that that was crap. Um, about about copy of my game cards. Yeah, I do have Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. I, I think you're asking about. What do you mean, James? PS one, two, three, four, ninety eight disc. PS four downloads. What do you mean? NES Classic. No, it's not an NES Classic. Magic Carp. GameStop's become a think geek. They're actually uh, pretty. It won't be long until they have. Actually, most stores have more toys than they have games at the moment. It's like at least half. Half. It's like half toys. Then it's games, and then they have like phones and crap. Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Yeah, I got Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Yeah, we buy and sell. Is that what you're talking about? What's up, Mr. Beyond? Best gaming PC? I don't know. I would just build my own. I don't really have a preference of a model. It's been a while since I've built. Mine's getting kind of older. It still works good, though. You bought some Walking Dead socks from GameStop. Yeah, GameStop bought Cricket. Uh, I know. GameStop bought Cricket. They bought Think Geek. Um, you mean this game right here? It, that's Zombies Ate My Neighbors. I just put it on there. I got it running on a Raspberry Pi. Yeah, I, Justin, I do make pretty good money from owning my own store. Um, nothing will ever go all digital. And, and actually, you know what's funny? Uh, you guys keep asking about GameStop. I'll say GameStop... GameStop has about three, maybe four years before they go out of business, um, and I will I will go tailgate them the day they go out of business. <laughs> I will be celebrating in the parking lot by the local one. I'm not a millionaire. I wish. I I, I have probably I have a lot of games. I don't have a ton of money. Um. Um. But there is one thing that could save GameStop. I would love, Kevin, I hope you're right. That would be freaking awesome. I love cartridges. The Switch is awesome with putting the cartridges in. They just, they just work. Um, yeah, here's the thing. Yeah, a lot of Netflix, you still see them selling DVDs and Blu-rays and stuff though, don't you? Even though Netflix is that popular. Um, no, I am not half a millionaire either. I will be down the road. Here's the thing. I'm I am a uh, um I I invested a lot of my money, so most of my money's in investments. So I don't have a lot of plus I have kids and kids are expensive. Um I have a lot of money tied up in investments. I'll be great if I live long enough to take it out of that stuff.
I don't have the collector's edition at the moment. But, but anyway, there is one thing that could, yeah, I do have a lot of stocks and bonds. Um, there is, there is one thing that could save GameStop and I hope it happens, but maybe the day after they go out of business, um, is if you, if, if our laws ever catch up to, um, to our technology and you can buy and sell digital games, that would actually save GameStop. I actually thought by now I would be buying and selling digital games as well as physical games. There, there's a way for digital and physical can coexist. And you should be able to sell your digital games. You should be able to give them to people if you want. Me and my wife have been putting money away for a long time. So we're, we're, we'll be good. Thanks to whoever... Wait, what did you say? Mr. Beyond, thanks. Thanks about the other store. The other store is our first one. That That's... That's my real bad. This one's slow, but here's the thing, though. This store, this store also feeds the other store. Um, what I mean by that is, like, we get a lot of trade-ins here, and the other store, um, we give the other store a lot of games. Um, so the other store needs more. It, it is, it's hard to keep that one going without getting more trades from somewhere else. So even though this store doesn't doesn't make as much money as the other store we still we get a lot of games here that we supply the other store with so it's nice to have two stores for that um but this store does make pretty good money um but i also run um i also run our amazon and and ebay stores out of here so a lot of times you guys don't see it but in the morning i'm usually shipping stuff out and doing handling the orders hello Justin, buying digital is easier, but you should be able to resell it when you're done with it. I, I I have no problem with digital. I like digital. It's convenient. Did you guys need help at all? or? No, I'm just looking real quick. If you, guys, if you hear me randomly talking, I'm not crazy. I'm talking to people online. So. Dad. Dad. In Japan. I want to go to Japan. Your info isn't right, so did you lose all your digital games? I've never seen that one with Mr. Cookie Who's that? Oh, yeah. Who's that? You got your hands full. It's eat money, it is, but we sold out. I don't know about the other store, but we sold out here. Show the shop. All right. If you want to see what our other store looks like, um, uh, you can go go to my go to our, my channel, and I have a quick walkthrough of the other store. Stop talking about food. I'm hungry. You guys make me hungry. Oh, the the worst investment I well my wife made it. Um, it was before PlayStation Two came out. She uh, no, it was before PlayStation Three came out, and and she thought she thought she surprised me and buy Sony stock, and she bought Sony stock right before, and I didn't know she bought it, and I found out that the PS3 they were gonna have shortages and everything, and I was like, oh, it's a good thing we never bought that Sony stock. Because uh, their stock's probably going to go down because all the shortages they're going to have. And she, she, she's got stone faced, and she goes, oh, "I bought some stony stock as a surprise for your birthday." 
And of course, the, the stock all went down right after that. My favorite chain? Um, I don't know, Domino's is pretty good, or or Marco's. Pre-order until dawn. You just got to put $5 down to pre-order. I have a broker, J-Love. Actually, my wife's cousin is a broker, so it's really easy for me to go buy stuff. We don't have any California pizzas around here. I usually don't go chain, though. Um, there's a place in Sandusky I like called Ched Mats that I usually go to. Or um, here in town, in Portland, there's a place called Sloopy's. Actually, one of my employees works for Sloopy's. They're pretty good. You guys have any questions or anything or anything special you look for? Alright. You know what though? Like for me though, I love pizza. Pizza's pizza. Even bad pizza is still pizza. So we have every single one You guys got a ton of games then. Chet and Matt's Pizza is my go-to pizza, though. It's a local place. And actually, um, there's a place called Cameo Pizza as well. It's pretty much the same pizza. Um, some of my relatives own Cameo Pizza. So, the Cameo and Chet, Chet and Matt's is my relatives, too. But they make good pizza. I don't, I'm not going to be getting any more collector's editions for the Marvel vs. Capcom. Sorry. Sorry, Muffin. Oh, pizza at Cedar Point's kind of lame, really. I don't like the pizza at Cedar Point. It's okay. I, actually, Danny, my, you know what? My, my favorite, um, my favorite pizza of all time. When I was in, when I was in college, there was a place called Vito's. I'm pretty sure they're still around the Toledo area. I used to get these triple decker pizzas, and they were they were basically like if you took three thin crust pizzas and piled them on top of each other, they were just amazing. CC's has bad pizza. I agree with you, Kevin. It was all right. You guys are making me hungry. Stop talking about pizza. Do you have switches for sale? Yeah, I got I got um, with the red and the blue, or I have the black. Right, I'll show you. So the yeah. gray, yeah, the gray Joy Cons, or the ones with the red and blue. Oh, and when Mario comes out, there's going to be a bundle where they have two red um, Joy Cons. Comes with Mario and comes with a comes with a um, case to carry them. Doesn't save you any money. It's three eighty because the game's sixty and the case would be twenty. But they're having a bundle with the two red joy cons, so just so you're aware of that. Where are they? Three hundred. Yeah, they're two ninety nine. Mm -hmm. They're awesome. I love mine. Do you? What games do you have? You have one. I have personally. Yeah, I I have a lot of games for it. I have Zelda, I have Mario Kart, I have Splatoon two. Um, I have one two switch because my daughter really wanted it. Um, eh, it's okay. Um, but I have I have some digital games too. Like I bought Sonic Mania for it, and I bought um, I bought a couple other ones too. I got um, I can't wait. I'm trying to remember them all. No, I can't. But Zelda is what I play. I, I play Zelda, Mario Kart mainly, and Splatoon two a lot. I can't wait. But it is really nice just to pop a cartridge in, and it just works. Mm -hmm. You don't gotta wait for it. Yeah. So that's awesome. And, and it's real cool how okay, you put it in the dock and it's on your TV. I will I will recommend if you really want if you're gonna play on your TV, it, it's it's okay to do to do like this where you put it in there. But if you really want a nice controller, get a pro controller. They're expensive, but they're worth every penny. Yeah.
Yeah, okay. I love probably this one. Play it mostly in the car. Play it in the car. It, it, it's so convenient to take with. I, I, I have kids. My oldest one plays volleyball all the time, and I always she, she has practice like a half hour away, so I'll take her there, and I'm not going to drive home. I take my Switch, sit there in the car, and play it. It's great. Do you play it like a handheld, or do you set it up? Um, you, you know, I do play it like a handheld, but... I like that controller so much. A lot of times I take this and I just, it's got a little kickstand and I'll mm -hmm. put it on my dashboard and I'll, like you say. <laughs> so, it just depends where I'm going. If I need more space, you know, if I have somewhere I can set it, I'll take that. If, if, if not, if I'm just in a car normally and driving down the road, I'll do it in handheld. If my wife's driving, most of the time I'm driving. But, but yeah, they're all, they're, they're a lot of fun. Can't wait till Christmas. Christmas. Why can't? Getting one Christmas. You're getting one at Christmas? That's awesome. Yeah. You're gonna Christmas get Mario? I can't wait for Mario. Yeah, that looks yeah, really cool. That looks awesome. I really want the arms one. Arms is cool. I had that for a little while. Um, that's really good. We just got Pokemon Tournament, the Pokemon fighting game. That oh, just came out today. Is that the Wii U one? They added like um, they added about five six characters and everything's unlocked from the get go. You don't need to like unlock everything, so it's kind of like it's almost like a director's cut of the Wii U one. Okay. I always um, play that game. So there, there's more games. characters and they added some more a few more features, um, and but it's pretty close buying, to the Wii U one. Because we have the Wii U one. Yeah, it, it, they just added a few things. It's same with Mario Kart. Mario Kart's kind of the same. They added a few things to it though. Mm -hmm. Um, made it feel different, but um, it's not much different than the Wii U one, just so you know. But, but Zelda is phenomenal on there, Way and different. Mario will be, yeah, Zelda's, uh, yeah, is great, and uh, Mario will be fantastic. So they're starting to get a lot more games. We just got we just got Pocket Tournament, we got Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 today, but I sold out of Dragon Ball. Um, I got a lot more Pocket Tournaments, but yeah. It, they're, they're starting to do pretty good on getting games in for it. I can't I can't say enough good. I like it. The only thing I think they need to get better at is maybe the online service a little bit. The on, it works yeah, I good. I they don't have Netflix and all that. No, stuff. yeah, they need apps and stuff. They need to get Netflix mm -hmm. and, like, Amazon and Hulu and stuff like that for it. And they need to – their voice chat thing is dumb because they make you download an app for your phone and use that. They need to do it mm -hmm. through the system. But other than that, I mean, I, I love mine. I don't like talking to people online anyway, so it's not a big, it's not a, a deal breaker for me. Dad, we need to get this one. Oh, we need to? Sounds like you guys got a lot of games at home. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. We have the whole uh, Disney stuff. Disney Infinity? We have every, every single Infinity one of the Disney Infinity I love Infinity Disney characters. Infinity. I don't. I wish they would revive it because there were so many more characters they could have tapped into. There, there was, um, and all the new Star Wars stuff coming out. Yeah, it would be great. I don't know why Disney decided to end it. Everybody I talked to said um, they were losing money on it. I definitely losing money on it. They, they told me the characters were like the characters they made Never. would cost so much. To make. Did you guys ever get the battlegrounds for that? Mm -hmm. yeah. I, they get a, I like that. They weren't too into it. I, see, I liked it too. Maybe. It was, yeah. Dad, if they got a 3D printer, Dad, if they just bought a 3D printer, those characters would be made. Like a hundred of those characters would be made. Back. Yeah, Did yeah. you need help at all? Like hard drives for 360? Yeah. Do you have, um, which, yeah, we do sell hard drives. Which, come over here a second. Sorry. Which three, do you have one of the newer 360s? Does yours look like this? Mine's an Xbox 360 split. So, so is it? Yeah, it's like one of these? Okay. Yeah, okay. All right. Just making sure so I know which one to. I will show you what I got. So, you can get like a 60 gig hard drive for about $20. Um, this one here is uh, a little flips. This is a 250 gig one for about $27. So, 
So 60 gig, 250. Let me see what else I got. Uh, 500 gig is about $45. That's a ton of memory. But honestly, 60 gig is more more than you would ever. That that's a lot. So those are pretty much the sizes I have. I have 60, 250, and Thank 500. You. Yep. Thanks, guys. And, and with our discount card, this would be 20% off, so it would be about $18. Wait, no, 10% off. Yeah, $18. Now, where do you put them in the system? I'll show you. Let me grab one. Okay, so you got one like this, right? Yeah. Okay. On the bottom here, there's a little tab right here, and they go, yours will be empty. They just they just plug right in. You'll you'll hear them snap in like that. That's it. All you gotta do. It's are still talking about pizza there's people online asking me questions so don't think I'm crazy when I talk up here you guys are making me hungry See you, KK. It's, it's weird. I, I see people, if I just sit here and talk and I don't explain it to them, they look at me like I'm crazy. So I always like let people know. Anybody got any, should I, let's not talk about politics. Should I put a different game on? What game should I, anybody got any requests for an old game? What should I do? Well, let's not talk politics. I don't, you know, we have had Madden tournaments in the past. We've had Madden, Street Fighter tournaments. Um, should do a new one. Stop with the politics. Hillary has no chance though, I'll tell you that. Hillary had her shot, she blew it. Let's not talk politics. Oh, oh, oh. Get off the politics. Because no matter who you like, whether you're a Hillary supporter or a Trump supporter, half the people don't like you, will not like you. They don't agree with you. I am going gonna, gonna to stick with the Michael Jordan uh, theory of uh, when Michael Jordan was always asked about his politics, he said, he always said, well, Repub Republicans buy sneakers too. We don't, I don't, I don't care about Trump or Hillary. How about that? Yeah, they need more games, Jonesy. I agree. Sauce, so I'm not even going to say what I am. Um, I'm an American. <laughs> it doesn't matter if there's a D or an R before your name. 
Oh, stop talking politics. No, no politics. I'm gonna start putting people in timeout. I don't want to talk politics. People like each other better when you don't talk politics. Put on Ren and Stimpy? All right. That was Genesis. Or Mega Drive. I don't want to talk about Rocket Man either. Or Dotard. I'll do World World next. I loved Ryan and Stimpy back in the day. That was like one of my favorite cartoons. Yep. Have N64s. Star Fox? Yeah, how do you forget Star Star Fox is awesome. How about that? There you go. Star Fox. On an N64, um, let me double check. I think they're like 70 bucks at the moment. You mean this right here? This is not an NES Mini. This is actually a Raspberry Pi. Have I got Rogue Squadron? Rogue Squadron right there. Funny you asked that. It was sitting right here. The the Ren and Stimpy game. There you go. That's what's playing on the TV right now. Oh, you mean the challenge set? The NES challenge set? That's an actual NES in the box with Super Mario 3 and two controllers. That's not an NES Classic. The NES Classic's the mini system. I am a big gamer. been gaming my whole life. Someone asked for Super Mario World first, so I went to that. Loved Ren and Stimpy. I, I'm glad they're going to re-release it. It's actually in 2018, but yeah, I'm glad they're going to re-release it. That's cool. I, you know, Matt, I might without the ROMs. That's the only way it would be. It would be worth it. I mean, it's the only way you could legally do it. Toe Jam and Earl, Planet, Planet Funkatron. Right there. The NES, the SNES Classic comes out September 29th. Matt, Matt, I don't like your new icon. Your new icon sucks worse than your old icon. Crash Insanity is, is awesome. It's actually coming out for Xbox One next year. 
A Raspberry Pi is a mini computer. It's about the size of a deck of cards. Um, J Love. Um, here, I'll turn this off. And I'll, well, I have it. This is actually a case for it that looks like an NES classic, but this is actually a little mini computer that is running all these emulators with ROMs. But, but the computer itself is literally the size of a deck of cards. You just, just Google like NES ROMs or Super Nintendo ROMs or, or something like that. Yeah, Raspberry is the only flavor. That's, that's the joke everybody says. Yep. It doesn't come in, in, in vanilla or chocolate, just raspberry. Or apple, it doesn't have, there's no apple pie. FIFA um, FIFA 18 comes out next week. Yeah, the Raspberry Pis are bad at Like, here, I'll show you a little bit here, J-Love. Um, if I exit out of this game here. I pretty much have every Super Nintendo game ever, ever made on here. But I also have Sega, uh, Sega CD, 32X, PlayStation games. PC Engine, which is basically Turbo Graphics, um, Neo Geo Pocket, Color, and Black and White, every Nintendo game, um, Neo Geo, N64, every Genesis game, every Master System. I got a bunch of arcade games on here. There's probably about like 10,000 games on this system. It's crazy. Game Boy Color. What game you guys want to see next? I have Destiny 2. Personally, I'm not into Destiny, though, so not my thing. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. I actually sold a Mighty... I got a Mighty Morphin Power Rangers about four or five months ago. I found one that was factory sealed at um, Goodwill for like two bucks. And I ended up selling it for like $90 on eBay. It's crazy. I have this game at home. It's called Musha. It's like a $400 game. Power Rangers must be under Power Rangers. Power Monger. Do they not have Mighty Morphin Power Rangers on here? You go to Super Nintendo. Atari's on there. Oops. Beef is in butthead. I got 2600 on here. There you go. Mighty Mo from Power Rangers. You want the movie? We'll just go with the first one. It doesn't have all the Sega CD games. I don't know if that one's on there. I'll, I'll see what's on there. I can't wait to, wait for Red Dead Redemption. Red Dead Redemption is one of my favorite games of all time. Yeah, it runs Mortal Kombat. Yeah, it runs Mortal Kombat 1 and 2. They're on there. The arcade versions. Look at those graphics. E.T. Atari Art. That is a terrible game, E.T. Atari. Crap, I gotta close. I do. I'll show E.T. Atari and then I gotta close up. Atari 2600. I actually have the actual game here in the store, but I have a couple of them. This is like the this might be the worst game ever made.
You like fall in these random pits and you die. I can't get out of this pit. I don't know what you're supposed to do. All right, that's enough of ET. That that may be the worst game ever made. Someone said Beavis and Butthead. Um, I think there's a Beavis and Butthead. Uh, I gotta lock up the story. You can watch this run for a second. You guys can watch me close out, but I'm gonna be I'm gonna be closing up. Gotta close up shop. Worst game ever made. It's got to be E.T. All right. I'm turning off the Raspberry Pi. I'm going to... The dude, I think it was Jay Love that... See, it is... It's in a case that makes it look like an NES Classic. But see, it's called the Nest Pi case. Um, it's got USBs. It's got a couple more USBs with an Ethernet port up there. Um, HDMI. And then this is where the SD card goes in. It's loaded up with ROMs. Nah, I can't. I gotta go get my kid. I gotta pick up my kid from uh, from her grandma's. MJ game on Mega Drive was great. Actually, the the Michael Jackson game on computer on not computer on on arcade is really good. Colonel Custer's Revenge. I remember that game. That's a porn game for the Atari. It's uh, it's it's 710. I actually should have closed about 10 minutes ago. 713. I got to I got to do my close out. Yeah, the Moonwalker, the the Michael Jackson game is pretty, pretty. Uh, the arcade game is pretty creepy because you run around and save little kids. Knowing what you know now about Michael Jackson, it's it's kind of. Yeah, Leisure Suit Larry was a cool game. I liked Leisure Suit Larry back in the day. They actually made one on regular Xbox. It's pretty good. Yeah, Home Alone sucked. The movies were great. The game sucked.
Didn't you have me play Chase HQ? Somebody had me play Chase HQ the other day on there. That is a pretty cool game. Billie Jean. Yeah, thanks for putting that in my head, Soft. I can moonwalk. I am not going to do it, though. Nobody wants to see a slightly overweight person moonwalk. I can actually, um, it wasn't you. Somebody had me play Chase HQ on there. I did have a good week, George. Thank you. I hope you have a great week, too. Well, my, my older daughter is 15, and and she doesn't play a lot of games. I mean, she played she played Minecraft. She plays some games, but not really many games. She's she's more into being a teenager. And then my youngest one loves Minecraft and Lego games. I got I got two girls, so I play Minecraft, and she loves Mario Kart. Well, the slightly overweight person does not want to do the moonwalk. I actually, my daughter, my daughters, both of them are really good dancers, and my oldest daughter is funny. I, I taught her how to, um, I taught her a lot of her dance stuff. I actually can dance pretty good. THQ made more bad games than good games. That's why they're out of business. Peace out, who I am. Who am I? I do, don't you worry, Sauce. I keep my eye on her. She's freaking beautiful, too. It's, it's even... I'm glad she's beautiful, but good lord, I gotta beat the guys away. She has a boyfriend right now, and he better not ever hurt her, or I'm gonna have to hurt him. Not gonna touch you roll. Nope, nope, not gonna do any of that. Yeah, he's a cool kid. He's a good kid. He's he's. It's funny because I think I think uh, um, it is true what people say that like your kids do go, th they do get attracted to people that are like you. The kid is he he does remind me of of me when I was a kid. He. Which I, I was a pretty good kid. Um, I wasn't a bad, bad kid, but um, I was. I don't look like it now, but I was like really fast, and I was like the fastest kid in school. And I was our. I was like our running back for for high school. This kid, he's their running back for the high school, and he's a good kid though. I'm not gonna Harlem Shake either. Stop asking me about dance moves. I can do the running man. You want me I'm never going to tell her that, that he reminds me of me, but he does. It probably won't last either. They're 15. I'm sure they're not going to last. So. I'm not doing the running man either. I can do it. I taught my, I taught my kids how to do the running man. It's funny. My wife can't do the running man, but I can.
It's a dance move. I'm not doing the worm either. Stop naming dance moves. Never gonna happen. I don't want that. I don't want the fat guy dancing become some big thing on uh, on YouTube. No, because it'll be it'll be turned into a meme or something. I don't want to become a meme. Thanks, J Love. I I. I'm not gonna lie, I have a pretty good life. And and I'm proud of what I've done. I, everything I've done, I've done on my own. I haven't had any help. I am, uh... I earned everything I have. My mom, my mom worked hard. Um, my dad died when I was, my dad passed away when I was a young kid. My mom worked at Food Town, worked her ass off to support me and my sister. We, li we were pretty poor growing up. Super I can do the super bad. My, my daughter loves that song. stinky leg no I'm not doing the stinky leg either I, I got I gotta I gotta go though I gotta I gotta go get my daughter my youngest so I kind of got in the stream thanks everybody for watching I'll probably stream a little bit tomorrow but it'll be an earlier it, it actually it'll be about the same time I'm I'm in I'm in tomorrow night too so yeah, I'll be streaming tomorrow night too so I'll see you guys later goodbye Bye.